Hello, welcome to another episode of Forehead Fables. And to answer your question, Sam, just pre-podcast, kind of went for a Valentine's Day look, even though now it's like it's two days after Valentine's Day, day of recording, <laughs> won't be yeah. released until like two weeks People after. People won't even remember what the and fuck Valentine's is. I kind of just look like a guy that peaked in high school baseball, but that was not my intention got these little things on i've got like an accessory oh, yeah. i remember when all the emo girls would wear those to cover yeah. up their cutting marks oh i did not know that was what that was for but that <laughs> what's instantly, under those yeah pull those fuckers off what's under let that? me see you got skin under there <laughs> yeah i just thought it's just like a cute little thing <laughs> i just like have been mass consuming like costumes on amazon one day shipping get them here and like the baby outfit, and then you just throw it in the garbage <laughs> right after, and just it's good. It's just like keeping everything flowing. Yep, that's you're doing your part to make sure a recession doesn't come around. Yeah, I'm also doing. yeah, I'm also <laughs> like hoping someone will watch this and be like, this guy put a lot of effort in. This guy put a lot. When I really just like one click bought like Valentine. This is a woman's XL costume. I, I hope. <laughs> I, I fucking hope you're doing a stream or something with yeah. this too. No, no, no. that's just, just going for the, in the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> just for the podcast. Just thought I'd spice oh, it up. God, <laughs> it got here this morning. So uh, yeah, I watched like a little bit of a David Attenborough like documentary last night, and at the end, he always closes oh, oh. with how we're destroying the planet. <laughs> you know, what? I'm not actually. Well, I'm also thank God I'm a hoarder because. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really help the cycle you too could, much. You could reuse those glasses for something. These are, oh wait, they're up here. These are shockingly <laughs> like the most, I was going to wear them the whole time. They make everything so red. Really? Like pure filter red. Cause I, I thought it'd be a nice little tint or something. It's like, mm. it's like I'm in a dark room and you are the negative. Ooh. It's kind of cool actually. It is, yeah. It seems, it seems. I'll throw them cool. back on a bit, but I just, you know. Well, how was your, uh, how was your Valentine's oh, since you are dressed up in the Valentine's way? I mean, we don't have to talk about Valentine's. I just thought I'd wear this. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's more an excuse to wear. Yeah. I've got the stockings It's kind of like that Aqua episode where you dressed yeah. as a baby, and then we I talked about a baby help. for like two <laughs> yeah. seconds. I don't really care Aqua to was talk like, about I, I live my life with this fucking thing. I want to talk about this yeah. baby. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, we can. let's make this a full themed episode with no planning. What's your favorite rom-com of the decade? <laughs> of this decade versus of this the- decade? Well, I guess not this. Nah. What's this decade now? Yeah, I think that my f- uh, would La La Land be a rom com? It's, it's not funny. really a rom com. It's just more like a. It is funny. Yeah, Ryan Gosling's hilarious. Yeah, he's just a funny guy. Like, yeah, sure, I'd call that a rom com. Yeah, that was your last like rom com recommendation to me. That I that's a good watched. one. My- Have you ever seen French Kiss? By the way, no. I think that'd be up your alley. It's got it's got super super Google sharp this. dialogue. It's an old rom com from back in the day. It's a good movie. It's just an overall good movie. Before we get into this, by the way, I remember last episode, there was a lot of like, I was uh, wringing my hands over this whole blanket situation. Mm. The blankets Is were it posted. handled. They've been handled. I They sold out in four hours. Gone. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Huge weight off my fucking chest. And then my brother calls or he sends me a text like a couple days later. And he's like, hey, do you have an extra blanket? I'm cold. <laughs> I'm like, why? I already gave him one. It's his face on it. I was like, here, you can have one. And he's like, well, uh, so this guy found me on Facebook and added me as a friend. I thought I knew him from back in the day. But apparently he's oh, just like God. a mega fan of yours. And he weaseled his way into my Facebook. And I've been talking to him for like a couple weeks now. And uh, he's just like a mega fan. He just needs he just needs a blanket. He needs dude, one. That's and so I'm like, scary. I'm like, don't fall for that, dude. Don't. You should have put a fucking brick wall up the second that guy friend requested you. I. That is so horrifying. Because yeah. like, I get a lot of people in my stream and stuff that are like, you're way too worried about being doxed for a guy that also like I self dox a lot. Yeah. But it really is like my. You know, how quick my anyone in my family. <laughs> If they were just like, hey, I'm, I'm friends with your son, they'd be like, okay, well, here's where I live. Yeah. Friend and of here, Boob yeah. is a friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. Well, don't you want to know his full name? Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Don't you want to know where he lives? Don't be a stranger. Yeah. That's insane. That's funny that your brother, I mean, it's hard though. It's hard to tell sometimes like 
There's a lot of really normal looking freaks out there. Freaks, yeah. yeah. That, that just kind of slip in. I ex I have so many goddamn. I made a poov Instagram with the description like made this so you guys stop trying to follow my private one. And I get so many fucking requests on my private Instagram because they want to. It's like they want the whole thing. They can't just have a little. Yeah. And sometimes oh, they just slip through the cracks. It's private. They what? just slip through the cracks because yeah. there's like, you know, a hundred at a time of these like little fucking requests. And if I request a real person, sometimes I'm my fat finger or I'm drunk or whatever, and they'll make it through a goddamn, you know, I've had people in there for probably years. Yeah. Where I'm like, oh shit, I don't know this guy at all. <laughs> the guy almost so developed relationships where I'm like, oh, I love this guy. I think post. that's, that's what happened to my brother is he's he now. Got, got up, he got up. Because he was like this guy and he sent me a screen cap and they've had like an ongoing. They're <laughs> they're like, like really friends. good friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, this guy's just but weaseling his way built in. built on lies. Yes, it's it is. Built yeah. on. <laughs> Built on co complete, this like... This guy's uh, way too nosy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't doubt that he's a good guy. It's just like... Well, he's getting he a blanket out of it. me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Are I'm, you going to give him I'm, one? I'm, I'm going to give him a blanket. That's like a payoff. Like, don't... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm rewarding bad behavior. What the yeah. hell am I doing? If anyone can uh, find my brother and friend of well, my Well, my brother, like, he's like, I'm going to give my blanket to him if you're not going to give uh -huh. him one. He deserves it. I'm like, for what? Why? Yeah, why, why did he, he do? Because he's such a goddamn good friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but He's uh, been there for me when no one else has. Yeah, because he's somebody he talks to me. I, I mean, you know what? Fuck it. If you can find my family and be genuine good friends to them, <laughs> good on you. Okay. Yeah. If, you, if you can give my mom like a shoulder to cry on, yeah. please. If you want to be yeah. close to me and visit my grandma a couple times yeah. a week and yeah. fucking yeah. play solitaire with her or whatever, go for it. Okay. Take my spot in the family and go to all these events. <laughs> yeah. I don't have time. Yeah. To go to. Um. God, I shouldn't. It's like what, another one of those. Like when the family finds the podcast, I am busy. Okay, I'm pretty busy. It is great though having a job that no one understands. Yeah, because a lot of times you can just be like, "I'm busy. I'm I'm super busy." Yeah. Well, and honestly, I am. I am super busy, but it doesn't. The job does entail like it. Ha it is fun like fifty to yeah. sixty percent of the time. It's you vague are, at times, though. It is very, Especially yeah. with you as my boss. I'm like, listen, guys, sometimes I just don't know. Like, I just get, it's just, I get sprung on me. Yeah. Like, oh, we got a podcast. <laughs> I got to talk for a couple hours. And then I can do whatever, you know, go visit grandma in the hospital or, you know, be there for a sibling's sometimes birthday Sometimes I'm party. also just working and I'm really doing nothing. Like, <sighs> it, but not intentionally. Like, I, I'm trying to set up this fucking Zomboid server for... All my homies to play on. That's what we're playing tonight. And I, and this is the first time I've, uh, you know, Stalt set up the Enshrouded server. And I was like, this okay, time yeah. I'm setting up you the Zomboids. It, yeah. I'm doing it. I can do it. I've modded it's good to stuff. Be in control. Yeah. And I just wanted to just do it because I feel bad also just being like, Stalt, be my tech guy. And yeah. so uh, I, I got the, I got a Nitrato server. I bought it and I, set up all the mods i got like 200 mods on there that was fucking forever try to figure out how to put all the mods on the server and then i couldn't figure out how to give myself admin and i spent two hours last night and then the bulk of this morning just tearing my hair out trying to figure it out well, it looks and like I, yeah you you were at that for a while i would i would yeah you were tearing out your hair for a week <laughs> <Shipping. laughs> and uh and like you know, technically nothing was getting done, but I was sitting there just like pissed off at my computer for, for four to five hours. And then I, I just, uh, I finally broke down. I was like, look, I got a podcast cry. today. I, yeah, I cried for first 10 minutes. First, I sat like down and cried for 10 minutes. You should be an admin right away. Yeah, I don't and know how it works, but. I gave it to Stalt. I was like, Stalt, here's the login <laughs> stuff. I don't want you to just be my tech guy. <laughs> Please fucking help me. I swear to God, I, I gave him the stuff and I was like, I need to unwind. So I got on the rift. You know, I played a game of yeah. league. Yeah. That's how I unwind. And um, probably before we were even in game, we were in champ select. I get a message from Stall oh. showing that he had the admin panel open and he had fixed everything oh. less than four God. minutes. It was it, literally four minutes from the time I sent him the, the password and everything to get in. It's And that's it's. It's a huge load off my chest, but at the same time, fucking infuriating. Yeah, you he, wanted a load on your chest. I wanted, you know. I wanted a big load on my chest, and Stalt took it away from me. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> he just ate it up right off the chest, dude. <laughs> well, it, it's like he's a humbling... king of taking loads. That's like yeah. what he's good at. I sometimes I just shoot one his way on a weekend, and he'll, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he, he's not happy he about it, but he, it. He, yeah, <laughs> but he gets it done. He gets it done always. Uh, yeah, Valentine's Day and he any even, day. He even tried like explaining to me how to do it, and I was like, I'm fucking lost, dude. I can't, fucking, I can't do it. It's uh, it's truly like humbling and like it's also a blessing though to have friends that are just better at shit than you. Yeah, but as a man that yeah never wants to like admit that I can't do something, but also you need to have a thin veil of weaponized incompetence in case you just truly don't want to do something. So it's mm. a tough. Like you can't have it all. A you thin know, you veil. Can't. I think of it as like a thick, thick smog. I can't even Blank see my way out. out of. Yeah, I, I'm I'm lost too in my stupid. Too <laughs> stupid. <laughs> my yeah. weaponized incompetence yeah. is so. I mean, it's affecting me too. It's yeah. It's become self-inflicted yeah. weaponized incompetence. Where I think I've actually just become a stupid person. Yeah. But if you call it weaponized incompetence, you're just malicious and manipulative. You're not stupid oh yeah that's a good way of, of getting yeah. out of it i've i've pondered that before I'm what's dumb as shit what's i'm worse, weaponizing it yeah being manipulative or just being really stupid um, i don't know probably manipulative I'd yeah say. yeah yeah uh, by but the way also, if i if my i know zach is a huge like listener of this podcast apparently he's now hey thanks man yeah <laughs> big ups <laughs> he uh we used to work at my uncle's house all the time and my, weaponize it oh no, my, my brother was like so eager to please and all of a sudden his weekends oh. were gone because he was just working on my uncle's place i went i went out there and my, my uncle was like yeah cut that to be about two and three quarters inch i was like what the what the fuck are you i acted and, like uh, i acted like i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> i acted like i didn't know what a tape measure was like yeah. i was like what and he's like the a foot is broke down into sixteenths and I was like, what the what? I didn't go to smart yeah. school. For- what the hell? In the lines? And I acted like I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I never got reinvited back out there. No. Just Beautiful. act like I didn't know what measuring stuff was. Boom. Got out of it. I and I'm uh, guilty. Oh, that's sorry, a lesson, sorry. Zach, if you're if you're still yeah. listening. Be now that my uncle's dead and you have already stupid. long <laughs> wasted the time a decade ago. Yeah, yeah. If you could go back in time Think about that. Just lesson. act like you're stupid. Don't yeah. be so eager to be like, I know how to do that. Because people are only going to respect you a little bit more, and then they're going to waste a lot more of your time. Huge amount of it. Dude, just the pure amount of my parents always being like, this kid's got a computer. Like, fix the TV. Fix the phones. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know how landline phones really work. Like, it's like a little bit of just genuine incompetence, but also them being like, you got to go over and you got to fix you know, your aunt's TV. I'm like, uh, I just be like, I don't know how to do Like, I only know computers. And then like a computer problem would pop up. I'd be like, uh, I, I, I only know like a very specific type like of coding. Is this like an OBS problem? Yeah. <laughs> this is more of an IT issue. Uh, what I deal with is actually a lot more behind the scenes. And then they're like, we're, we're making a website. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, I've narrowed myself into such a corner where I'm like, I'm actually only really good at this one thing. And now those chickens are coming home to roost. <laughs> They're like, hey, we really need your help on this stuff that we've, like, documented you saying you're good at. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I'm not into that anymore. I, I'm washed I don't think up. I am good at it, yeah. I've, like, got to trick yeah. myself into being like, I, I just don't know how to do it. Well, actually, once again, even if somebody walked in and was like, hey, you do video game stuff and you... Can you probably help me be, beat this level? No, oh, could, fuck. Could you help me set up a Project Zomboid server? Yeah. I'd be like, no, I can't Maybe do I'm that. I'm just selfish, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm just like incredibly selfish and I just not a team player. <laughs> no, I think I'm just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> uh, but no, weaponized incompetence is awesome. Viewers, use it as hard as you can, except for on your boss. Don't ever yeah. do it to your boss. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm just I've, saying I've, because I'm on a podcast with oh, my yeah. boss, but don't ever. No, do no, that those shit. of you in square jobs. Definitely yeah, do it. Square. Yeah, Squaresville. Act act more incompetent. Uh, uh, Brian has told me like countless times they will of people take advantage that of you. they automate stuff and then they never yeah. tell their boss, and then yeah. their boss just assumes they're doing it manually, and you're just vibing there. Take as much, and also like don't be too quick to do things 
if your job doesn't have a lot of upward growth because you're just going to be expected to do it at that pace forever Mm -hmm. with no benefits it's just like not worth it you know just take your time yeah Take your time. time. That's a, that's the real commodity. Is time. Be a little stupid. Smoke a little weed. <laughs> yeah. right, get your mind nice it and takes fried. Fucking so. forever to do anything. Yeah. Until all your Mass episodes are right the there viewer. at the last yeah. week of the month. <laughs> Patron drops a hundred percent. No one can afford it anymore. Everyone's been fired. Yeah. <laughs> We're telling everyone go go be as stupid and bad as your job as you can. Yeah. Yeah. We're not actually. You know what? If you're listening to this at a day job. Don't take any advice about work ethic from us. <laughs> Only if you're a podcaster. <laughs> yeah. Only if you're a podcaster. Yeah, stay in your lane. Maybe IT or something like that. But if you're a custodian, you should probably just do your sweep your I, floors at yeah. the same pace you've been doing it. <laughs> mop, mop them things or whatever. I'm not going to yeah, pretend whatever, to know what goes do. into that. <sighs> yeah. Also, yeah, please just that should be like a big warning at the beginning of every episode never take any advice from us on anything probably it's just a safe bet except for stocks maybe yeah Give stock you some really good were, stock advice like yeah. financial uh check bitcoin right now that's my yeah. advice check it check it if you have it sell it okay because it's up because by the time i Celsius. decide to say buy it that's when it goes down okay but right now i'm saying when this episode's it. out in two weeks yeah yeah by the Go time on. this episode's out, you're going to check Bitcoin price, and it's going to be like $12 <laughs> a coin or something. $90,000. Oh, my God. Right now, oh, yeah, that's, it could go up even more. I assume that as soon as I decide to hold it, it goes down. So I did like a panic thing earlier, and I was, I was on the toilet <laughs> taking a shit, and I was like, we're selling right now, baby. Yeah, I'd, I, that's the one part of um, investing I haven't mastered is... I just have never taken anything out of any of my investments. I'm like, when do I, when is, when do I sell? Do I just write, I think I'm just going to write it all forever until I'm like 60. And then that'll be my retirement. Just what's happened. If you were actually just investing in like index funds, I think that would be the way to go. You just, you buy it. Yeah, like with those like slow and steady, definitely. But like, I don't know, like with NVIDIA and like Bitcoin and shit, like, I feel like I've hit a good point where I could just be like, well, I made some money, but also, Everyone wants to make more money. Does anybody? Do we need to get like an Nvidia expert in here? Like, why are they so big all of a sudden? They went from just Probably making AI Bitcoin like, mining stuff to all of a sudden like they're the everybody talks and why about didn't Nvidia I spend with AI. more fucking money on them. Yeah, I could be rich and I could be doing like more involved costumes. I could have like real wings and stuff. By the way, that's that's a huge indicator. I probably shouldn't be investing when I go like I don't even know why it's worth that much. <laughs> what I don't even really understand. What do they stocks. even do? I just see the name I don't around. Understand company worth stocks. Yeah, that's I don't literally get what a that's bull like, market is or a bear market. You know, I just yeah. just press the little things on the Robinhood app. I was also you surprised know, I, they didn't have like a bear statue on Wall Street. They have the bull. Yeah. They should have a bear somewhere in an alley or something because it always balls. lurks. It, it, that's the moment where you're fucked yeah. is when you realize it's a bear market. So it shouldn't Peeking be out of a sewer. Yeah, it should be hidden somewhere where you kind of like run into it and it sneaks up Watching on you. Watching the bull. But yeah, from bear a distance. and a bull would. This is completely off topic. I'll get back to the economy in a second. But what an awesome uh, beast battle a bear and a bull would be. Yeah, because it's not an obvious answer. I no, feel, it's not. But. But anyway, can I, we can talk about beast battles all day long. Before we yeah, before sidetrack, we definitely, staying definitely. on the beast battle thing for a second, yeah. why is like a nice positive run? I get why it's called bull market because it's like gaining momentum, but why is it called a bear market? Why is it called? It's bearish. Why I would that? just, li- I just literally assume because of like the other phrase of bear, like A-R-E, like, I don't know. It's just like, there's nothing here. Yeah. But I honestly... Wait, I I feel like I've I feel like I watched like the Big Shorter sign and they fucking like explain this down to me perfectly. You know what? I'm going to Google it. Whoa, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jamie now. Why is it called Bear Market? Yeah, because that bears out. are awesome. Because okay, bulls push. Bears okay, well, drag? <laughs> like usual, I'm completely wrong. Completely uh, unsubstantiated. It's saying it's because, actually very close to what you were saying, it's thought to come from the way a bear attacks its prey by swiping its paws downward. 
Oh. And then the bull market is because they attack, you know, like up. Yeah. Huh. Cool. Did not know that. I didn't know I was learning stuff about finances when I see all those awesome videos of people getting hit by bulls. Yeah. Like running over the bulls. Have you? That would be an awesome like stock market edit is yeah. like the fucking bull hits it up and then the graphs shoot up. Mm hmm. Also, like, bear, I guess, yeah, I guess bears do always, like, attack down, but it's not the first animal you think of when you no. think of a downward strike. You think dragon? Yeah. Dragon shooting fire down we're, on a well, village. We're in a, or, a dragon market. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It all, well, I don't know, because it's, like, also, like, dragons hoard their wealth. Yeah. So maybe and they, they, like also, they also sometimes come down like a bird of prey and scoop someone up. Yeah. Oh, true. And carry them away. <laughs> yeah. And that could, that's even way higher up than a fucking what a bull can do. Maybe economic uncertainty with uh, where the the, the economy is going like this that could be like a dragon market because you don't know if it's going to yeah. rain down on you or, or it lift just you up. Drags to on. Yeah. You don't know like what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just like really advanced like etymology or something. <laughs> I think it's fascinating that someone just had that awesome idea though. Like and once upon stuck. a time, yeah, they're yeah. like bull attacks like <laughs> like straight up. And they, they were just like, that's what it is. And then they built a statue. Hmm. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever <sighs> seen those power. people that like fight bulls and stuff? And then they say, if you stand completely still, Matador. the bull will just, they'll ignore you and they'll just go around you because you're not seen as a threat if you're not moving. I saw a video where there was like six people trying to demonstrate that by standing still yeah, in a I field. I would not believe. I would not believe that shit at all. I mean, the bull just pulled a zero. This fucking lady. That sounds like that advice was... a guy that's trying to live gives you right before. Like, hey man, just stand completely still. I'm gonna fucking book it out of here. They they can't see you. Okay. Yeah, it was. Everybody's like standing still. Bull comes in and just pulled a zero. This lady. <laughs> oh, easy mark. And yeah. then. And everybody else sees that and just runs. <laughs> they, 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 the yeah, panic, they're like, that did you. not fucking yeah. work at all. When your one plan to take down a bull doesn't work, you're, I can't imagine the fear. I think they that saw would... that video of the bull going through the China shop where, have you seen that Mythbusters? Uh, no. Where they were like, I haven't. It's like they the, actually put a bull in a China yeah, shop and it, what, they, it's calm? Yeah. Well, no, they, they were like, a bull in a China shop. Of course it's going to tear the place up. So they got a bull really pissed off. And they released it into a china shop, and it kind of just like walked around the aisles. It was it didn't knock over anything, I don't think. Uh, and it was like, well, how the hell do I get out of here? I'm in a china shop. Yeah. Oh, this uh, sucks. But I'm not gonna. Ex <laughs> I'm not gonna freak out about it because that would be uncouth. Yeah, that's what they want. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just a big stereotype, huh? <laughs> we wave a little red flag around. They're watching me. Yeah. <laughs> that bull. Put bulls forward like a thousand years with that one move. Not, yeah. not freaking out in that china shop. I can't yeah. imagine the temptation though to just go fucking crazy in there. Oh man, I'm sure you it was should, wild. You should have started something to wobble off the shelf and yeah. then turned around and steadied it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. balanced oh, the plate okay. on his horns. <laughs> the plate, the plate spinning. You know, how people. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that bull should a, not backflip in there. <laughs> Not what knocked a, over what a anything. dumbass hobby doing plate spinning. Who the like? Yeah, there's so there there are some fuck hobbies that up once where I'm and like, then you have to go buy more plates. I do you think know. that's even like improving your brain or anything? Like making you any smart? Because it's like, of course, just rotting away. Like some people, like you're just losing brain power. Yeah, and people are always like, just get a hobby. If you're just spinning plates, <laughs> spinning plates like, on sticks, yeah, is that like doing any? Or if you're one of those guys at an ice cream place that like fakes hands out a cone <laughs> and then gives it back, yeah. I mean, those guys are actually pretty tricky. I'm yeah. assuming that that does more than plate spinning, but I guess like <laughs> uh, just general what was, balance. <laughs> what was the the thing? It's better. kind of like juggling, but you just have two sticks and then you have another. Stick oh wait, you like you're... hit them back and forth? <laughs> yes. I don't know. That's that just, might be less cool than plate yeah. spinning. I don't know what that is either. Is it, do they ever even like set it on fire or anything, or is it just always a stick? I think it's just a stick. That yeah, was what's a. The that was a what's the stakes in that? Except for the. Um, it's three sticks. it's in the same kind of. It's in the same the cool genre grouping. of pastime as like hacky sack and yo yo, but oh, without okay, the portability. Well. It's and like also, I have like, to bring these the, big fucking sticks everywhere. Can you play in a big group? Like, no, you just kind of look like an asshole like with three sticks. Like bounce sticks around. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. 
Yeah. I don't know. You're it's, just like taking up space and oh, you know what? But fuck it. What some people just like stuff like that, you know? No, no, you can't have that mindset. Yeah. You cannot. No, you're right. No, you're They're right. enjoying stupid, dumb yeah. shit. Okay. You come yeah. into this and be like, get a frisbee, dude. You can have yeah. more fun with more people and take They're up less space with a frisbee. Every, we all just like varying levels of dumb shit that entertain our little monkey brains, you know. But guy the, likes the people that sticks. do the, the stick juggling, they always do that in public. You never see someone privately juggling sticks in the in the privacy of their own home. When it's always, a, it's always being that, like, a voyeur. Yeah, I never <laughs> notice anyone. My God, he's <laughs> stick juggling in his privacy. Whenever you're doing your, <laughs> your peeping tom. Whenever I'm perving out. Yeah. Stop, put down those sticks and get undressed. <laughs> or take out your big <laughs> stick. What are you doing? Come. Yeah. My dog won't fucking shut up. She's like barking right above my my door oh. over here. Hey guys, uh, this uh, episode is once again sponsored by Factor. So thanks, Factor. Um, it's it's pretty simple. Okay, they got thirty five different options depending on you know whatever you eat. You like calorie smart. You like vegan. You're a vegetarian. You're a meat lover. You know whatever. Fifty five different types of add ons. You can really customize. You know, really customize your meal. And they're two minute meals. You know, you pop them in the microwave. Pretty easy. They've got all sorts of stuff. You can sign up and save. It's They've done the math, okay? It's cheaper than ordering and takeout every meal. Uh, I don't know who could afford to do that or who's sick enough to order takeout all the time. It's disgusting. It's too expensive. Uh, it's, you know, it's flexible. You get to pick your meals 6 to 18 a week, depending on how hungry you are, how much you eat. Uh, you know, it's fast food. It, well, it's not fast food, but the food is fast. You know, pop in the oven, pop in the mug. It's not fast food, though, okay? It's no prep, no mess food. Uh, okay, it's not fast food. It's, uh, it's easy. It's very easy. So head over to factormeals.com slash forehead50 and use code forehead50 to get 50% off. That's code forehead50 at factormeals.com slash forehead50 to get 50% off. Thanks, guys. Did you, uh, have you listened to Kanye's new album? I have not. <laughs> is, not even. Is that even allowed? Are we allowed to like Kanye? I, I, um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to ask my sources. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a there's a I've bar been, in town, and on the wall they have no. I think it's on a ceiling tile, one of those acoustic tiles. It just says like, "Do we fuck with Kanye still or no?" I, like, I think he's completely off his goddamn rocker. But and there's uh, like there's like voting that you can do with a oh. sharpie where you just fill in yes or no. It's like real life Twitter. Yeah. Um Did you listen to it? Was it? I've, I've, I've listened heard it's to awful. it a I listened to it a little bit, and I was kind of yeah, it was it was off. But I, I feel like a lot I mean, of those... I haven't liked his last like three albums or something. So it's just I don't know. Yeah, all what do of you a sudden, feel? I, I've listened to it once. I don't think it's enough to get an opinion on it. There's I'm gonna have to some. This. I'm gonna have to stream this fifty times. Yeah, no, no. Sometimes like albums like do like grow on share. you, and some yeah. are instant hits. And then, have you ever had an album that like hit? And you're like, this rocks. And then you realize after listening to it, you're like, this is just kind of like earwiggy, if that makes sense. Like, it's just kind of catchy, but it's not no. actually that good, if that makes sense. Yeah. And uh, it's yeah. not that. <laughs> That's for sure. It's yeah. not. It's definitely it's not, not catchy. catchy. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I've heard a couple of snippets on Twitter <laughs> where it. Mm. Like Some it just sounds funny like ass the lyrics. production's awful, but I have no, I don't know. I would have to. The production's. Have, did you see a Super Bowl commercial? I have to listen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the see production's that. awful, and that's his. Can't Super imagine. Bowl. Yeah. yeah. That honestly was one of the greatest Super Bowl commercials I've ever seen. Just the fact that they, it's it's something where like all these companies pour millions into making these polished, beautiful commercials for halftime, and he just does like a. Vertical it's like selfie. our podcast. Almost, yeah, it's yeah, like a lot like of that. these have these like elaborate sets, and like really good guests, mm -hmm. and like really like good like topics, <laughs> good, good stuff. Yeah, like funny shit. And then there's then there's just like these people that are just real. Yeah, there's some that are out there that are real. Kanye's real is what you're. Kanye, yeah, that's that's what we're get. getting to. Yeah. yeah, Kanye's as real he's as it goat, gets, and he's real. Uh, he's real yeah. fucking crazy nowadays. That that episode or that uh, commercial didn't pop up on the. I watched exclusively, basically the um, Nickelodeon broadcast. 
of the Super Bowl? Did yeah. you watch any of that? No, I didn't. But it was so funny. I mean, it's so much because they've done that before. Like I remember, like three years ago, watching their first Nickelodeon. I think it was for like an AFC Championship or something. But they did the Super Bowl with it, and like, did you see any clips of it? No, didn't they have like SpongeBob it's, or something? It's, it's like, insane. You know? Like SpongeBob and Patrick are like the commentators, and yeah. then they have two real people. And then, like, on the stands, they've got, you know, they've got Sandy, Larry. They they show, like, a fake set of a crowd a lot getting slimed and stuff. Is it improv? All the gra- all the gra- yeah. it live? All the gra- oh, okay. yeah, yeah, it's live. And all the graphics are, like, changed and SpongeBobified. It's just so insane. But it was really... And the best part was, at one point, the Larry voice actor... <laughs> Because it's, yeah, they're all, they have to like improv in their voices for like three hours, which is crazy. <laughs> and you could hear it like SpongeBob guy definitely at points is like, <laughs> like his <laughs> voice is probably completely killing him. Yeah. Uh, but the Larry guy made a joke where he's like, I just made a personal foul in my pants. <laughs> and then a couple of seconds later, he's talking, you hear the voice actor break <laughs> and he started laughing. And then he's like, uh, 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 like, oh, yeah, I'm Larry. Like, <laughs> You can just tell it's just some fucking dude. Like, I mean, obviously, because it's yeah. a cartoon lobster, but it felt so human. I don't know. Yeah. It just felt they they just who yeah, watches just, that? What's the age demographic for like this, me and all my friends? <laughs> and like, yeah. Super Bowl. I bet you we, we, the the demographic gets shifted up a decade. Yeah, for sure. We, well, because we had other we were watching in Discord. And we had other friends watching the regular one. They're like, this game sucks, and they'd come in there and be like. Oh, this is awesome. I love the yeah, SpongeBob this Bowl. Is way better. It's just there was just constant entertainment. And it was a little like brain rotty, but that's good. Kept, yeah. Did they tell you what happened? Because I don't know football at all. They actually broke it down very well because they'd had <laughs> they had good. Dora doing yeah. the rules and she'd come out and be like, Okay, so an offside <laughs> season. It was just very informative for a lot of people, I'm sure. It's kind of a cool way to get kids to maybe like football, but if you have to like it's not going to last if you have to. <laughs> they're not going to do that for every game. No. They you know, should have like a Nickelodeon a more ESPN yeah. crossover. Get those voice actors Absolutely. to make sure. I don't know how expensive it was to run that. It was a pretty big production. You know, yeah. But they they also said they had different commercials, which kind of sucked. Like, yeah. they couldn't no have Kanye. any edgy. Yeah. yeah. You know, Kanye didn't even know that album was out because... I was watching, you know, commercials for he, Paw Patrol. Which is weird, because I don't think he advertised his album in the commercial, did he? Oh, yeah. Isn't it just a merch commercial? Yeah, he's just like, go to Yeezy.com. He's like in the back of a car. Go to Yeezy. Buy some clothes. Yeah, it's like, he on one hand, you almost... He paid for that. That's yeah, it's it. Like, it's like cool, where it's like, wow, he's, he's put so little effort into it. But then on the other end, you're like, you can't put a little more... I, I feel like him doing that next... Next Super Bowl, there's gonna be one of those fucking guys like Aiden Ross or or Jake from Sneeko. State Farm. One of them are they're gonna do like a fucking stream ad on oh, yeah. the Super. They're gonna pay for it and just do it like that. I've thought about getting. There's a couple benches around here that are really cheap ads because they're like someone will be killed on this bench. Yeah, but I've thought about just like throwing up some like. Pop a poop like or like poop tube ad just to see if anyone would ever comment like I'm here from I would do it a couple Bench states ad. away I, I, yeah I wouldn't get yeah, it local I probably wouldn't do it in my neighborhood yeah but it would I just think it'd be it would just be funny to sit on it there was a like, kid in town that I saw the back cool. of his car cool. was like a his YouTube advertisement that's very that's very brave that's go getter yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I'm also like, brave because yeah do you want the people of your town being your Knowing, main audience yeah. no you don't want that dude uh I saw just today someone I knew from high school starting a podcast in it like well first off just the bravery yeah gotta commend it because he posts it just very publicly and it's like you know that I'm sure there's a lot of I don't really know because I came into an established podcast on, you know, Forehead Fables. But a lot of anxiety at the very beginning, a lot of, you know, growing pains and stuff. We basically reached, though, like our peak. Like, we know we've got it. Yeah. <laughs> but these guys, you know, the, their production value is, like, better than ours. And I don't know how. Uh, I don't know how. For the audience, by the way, there is a million podcasts out there with yeah. better production. Yeah. Better 
everything. But I just don't even know like how they're st- like how are they getting episode one looking this professional? Yeah. Also, just posting so publicly and being like, "Here's me. Here's what I do." And so many supportive comments from people I know being like, "This is awesome." It's and meanwhile, I'm hiding in the yeah. shadows. I'm just like lurking around, creeping out, not ever really telling anyone what I do. And occasionally they stumble upon it and they're like, what the fuck? Well, that's because... But I just saw this. I'm like, this guy's just... He's just like... He's got a lot more bravery in his heart or something. Or a lot... Maybe he's got no shame. Yeah, I think no shame mixed in there. And also, you gotta you gotta read the room. Because my Everybody yeah. in my... Oh, true. In my yeah, immediate like life... a lot more calm podcast. <laughs> they, yeah. they all like idolize Chip and Joanna Gaines from fucking HGTV. And so they think, like, that's what it is to be, like, uh, that's what it means to be modernly famous and not, like, a movie star. And so then if I just was like, this is what I do for a living, they'd be like, no, no, there's there's no way. It's it's such a it'd be such a shock to them that I don't think uh, I just don't even bother sharing it. I did. I did tout the blanket pretty high. I was like, I made blankets. Is, I mean, that's just a cool thing. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a very. But then they saw what was on it and they were like, what? Creepy. I you... hope my family what? thinks I'm like an Aiden Ross type <laughs> or like a neon. <laughs> yeah. They just assume that I'm just like some guy out there just like with a bunch of OnlyFans chicks and just like throwing these crazy parties. Did you see that? I, mean... I think it was Playboy Cardi. Just like scammed. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I have got Twitter. <laughs> I saw yeah. that all over. What a fucking. That was. That, really weird. That I mean, was the whole an thing awesome is... play by by Cardi. He just also, walks yeah, up, like very... grabs the money, <laughs> walks out 20 minutes later. I don't even know how long he was hanging out with Aiden, but Aiden paid him, I think it was $2 million to just show up. If he's willing to pay $2 million bucks for this guy to just like walk in and just wave, he'll, he'll be willing to drop $7 mil for that Super Bowl. Th- that Super Bowl ad. Super Bowl selfie. Yeah. It's, actually, it's crazy, though. Like, well... You also have to keep in mind, like, what you see on the internet isn't necessarily, like, public opinion, even though it kind of feels like, you know, like, my Twitter for you page is not, like, the whole picture, but just, like, the way... Oh, Are you saying there's, maybe. like, an echo chamber? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. No, 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 no. Uh, but, like, the seeming, like, perception of Playboy Cardi after that, it's crazy how much, like, it can just flip... Because, I mean, I'm not, like, I don't really know anything about Playboy Cardi. I'm not a fan. But it's always, he's had really annoying fans for a long time where they're just, like, adamantly defend, you know, like, oh, he's, like, it seems like he's just one of those artists that just never releases music and everyone's still, like, it's coming, it's coming, like, the music's coming. Yeah. And then it's, like, as soon as that Aiden Ross thing happened, I just saw a trillion tweets that are, like, Playboy Cardi's kind of a weirdo, kind of a scumbag for like the way he did Aiden Ross. I'm like, they're all fucking weirdos. Yeah, they're all they're all scumbags. scumbags. Yeah, what are you Dude, if but, he offered me two million, I would have rolled, I would have fucking stayed until I'd probably show ass. <laughs> asshole. Like I'd probably bear asshole. I would show up until he's annoyed of me. For two million dollars, just for what we were talking about earlier, just to like put that in and start making like returns on stocks, mm-hmm. you know, just put in a S&P 500 or whatever. I'd probably suck his dick. On, yeah, on kick. Yeah, two yeah. two mil in the S and P. What would that be like? One hundred eighty thousand a year. Gloves. In, be in wearing interest? these gloves, working Fuck, the yeah. balls. Yeah, there's a lot. There's like a lot I do for that much money. Yeah, I would. You would Except see me do work a really hard shift. I would be in the manosphere. I'd be. I moved to L A. <laughs> no, I moved I would... to L A. No, I thought you meant a shift like that. Like you would, <laughs> you'd all of a sudden just be like a hardcore influencer. But <laughs> no, no, no. I would, the wrong way. I would be more like an Andrew Tate type. I would move to Romania, oh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I would, or Bulgaria, or wherever the fuck he is, and I would be no hanging extradition. out. I would for two million bucks. I'd be hanging out with Jay Peterson. I'd do, I'd do the full flip. I'd go, go to, to Range every, Day. Yeah, I was <laughs> just going to say go to every Range Day. <laughs> every Got my own little day. booth there where I'm selling something. I don't know. Okay, whatever they're selling. Yeah. Ammo. Ammo <laughs> and custom b- bullets. Boner pills. <laughs> Ammo and boner pills. Bullets that look like Joe Biden. <laughs> Shoot them and they explode. <laughs> God. I've even 
Joe Biden looks good these days, huh? I think he's a sharp leader that's going to take us to the future. It's crazy that, like, my mom actually is, like, one of those people where I brought up, like, wow, he looks like he can't even, like, form a sentence. And she's like, no, he's, like, he's looking good. He's looking no, good, dude. She's no, in he's blind. Not. Yeah, I'm like, okay. This is, like, the opposite of, like, what we were shitting on last time for, like, Fox News. Like, yeah. she's got some CNN, like, pumping, like... Some for there's got to be some really strong shit out there if you can look at that guy and be like he's a superhero yeah he's a modern day superhero because it really looks like they're just pumping like okay you guys ready for Kamala she she can be president the, 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 the amount he of does like, not look like he could live for at least another year <laughs> like I don't know he you know I want again, my somebody grandma was talking that about. my grandma's old as fuck knows math. I want them to look at I don't that. Think that. I think math's stupid. I think math is useful for things, and this is what I want it to be used for. I want you to take the, the median life expectancy in this country, and then I want you to put Biden's age into it, and then I want you to figure out what is the statistical probability he lives out a next term. I'm sure there's like there has to be oh, like a number. Bernie Sanders was too old, but let's get Joe Biden <laughs> back in there for. How Dude, old is he? He's 82. They, we're oh, at the 81. point where they're bickering between like, I'm 72. No, yeah. I'm 74. You're too well, that's old. That's why they've become like now like, I'm the president. They can do a push up. And people are like, holy shit. <laughs> like, that's awesome. Like, what? There's been a turn. Also, it is crazy. That was talking about earlier. My I want grandma, a president that can do a cartwheel. That's what I want. I like, want we, at least we, one cartwheel. Yeah. Cool, cool. Like, if they can do a cartwheel, they've got it. They've got my vote. They uh, should keep upping it until yeah. it's just like, I'm not. Yeah. Until we have like a 35 year old gymnast Olympic. <laughs> this guy, guy can do a double back handspring. Okay. Yeah. Perfectly. <laughs> Okay, well, then he should be a goddamn emperor or something. He should he be does, higher than president. He does the full debates on one of those pommel horses. <laughs> just, just like idiot. It's just like Terry Crews idiocracy <laughs> president. It's exactly. This is the biggest guy ever. Okay. <laughs> I uh, would take Terry Crews in idiocracy, honestly. I was, he's just I, bad. You know, yeah. we'd be buying badass, like mega events, big, <laughs> whatever he had, like monster truck, size of a building. <laughs> it, it is crazy, though, because everyone's like, we talk about how old Joe Biden is, and he's 81. You know, so my grandma's 88, and I feel like she is not. <laughs> I mean, I guess women live longer, you know, yeah. on average, or maintain sharpness or something. But she's still like a human. Like she is still very much like holds conversation. And like, yeah, but, imagining I mean, him 88, like seven years from today. I mean, okay, I don't so think. Here's the. To well, she eats a lot of Cracker Barrel. Unretard for a second, for real. Okay, sorry. No, no, I don't like doing like, that, but yeah, let me take, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> let me take, take it off, off for like two seconds. If you like talk to an old person on a daily basis, you realize that when they get into their 70s, there's good days and bad days yeah. for them. Like sometimes you talk to them and they're there. I don't ever try to there. make a point of talking to an old person more than once a week. You, know, <laughs> well, I'm not you must catch them on good days because yeah. there's also days where like, my grandma's just like, I can't, I can't even, I, like, she can't even hold a conversation. And then some days she's just like, hey, how you doing? You know, they yeah. just have good days and bad days. Hey there, how are you out there? And I, I, I don't know. I've just seen clips of, like, Joe Biden on Air Force Maybe One. Maybe we're just getting him where, on like, his, his handlers days. are like, get him out of a camera. <laughs> like, get, get, get him away from that camera. He's fucking full Whatever ass gibberish. Whatever pumping him full of, I need to give to my grandma and she'll be like, goddamn, 40 years old again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I feel so great. You know, Graham, Grandpa of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, if I just gave her a little drug cocktail. Do you, wait, but, do you think he has, like, a full fleet of doctors that just follow him around? Give him I mean, B12 I drips? think probably any president has a full fleet of doctors constantly being like, you good, you good? And I think one that old has definitely got, like, probably super doctors or something. You think Obama had, like, a doctor around him at all times? I mean, I don't think at all times, but I bet they're... I mean, I really don't know how it works. I just assume if you're like the leader of the. That's big, true. You know, they probably do have of like the U.S. Goddamn a. They've probably got a guy on standby with like a tourniquet in case you, know, you get <laughs> like nicked a, or something. Yeah, he's got I a tourniquet know. on one hip and a defib thing on the <laughs> yeah. other. Yeah. Some adrenaline like all down the arm. He probably looks like yeah, video game medic. Um, the guy know. from Apex that has like finger syringes or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Live, live. Uh, I don't know. Just exciting times that we live in. Yeah, so. super exciting. I, You know what sucks is I got to 
voting age in every election has fucking sucked so yeah. much dick. Wait, did you say, okay, n not to, did you see the RFK Super Bowl ad? No, I didn't. Because that is one of the ones where, like, at a point we realized, like, oh, shit, Nickelodeon has weird ads. Like, yeah. we'll switch back and forth a little. And he just had an ad where you got to watch. It, it comes off as parody at first because it's just, like, 1950s 60s aesthetic with him overlaid into it it's it just really felt like it was just being like remember the last kennedy yeah come on like we can do come on like this, i'm like him and then it was a real ad and it was just very like is this guy even still in the fucking race like what uh, what is he even spending this money this must be an incredibly expensive ad just for it to come off really awkward yeah but also i mean i already saw I, a lot of people talk about this but just like the pure like fear of being a Kennedy in politics. Like, why are you Out even in public? Yeah. yeah if I was him, I would get even... a bulletproof astronaut helmet, like a fishbowl cage. Yeah. yeah. And that way, it's like you can snipe me. All... How, just... how funny would that be, too, to just do like a debate with a big fishbowl on your head? <laughs> well, and also, like, could anyone even make fun of him? Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> dude, it happened. I saw what happened, happened to the other Kennedys, dude. I'm yeah. not taking any chances. It's just like a common occurrence. It's just, I don't know. I will give him that. Pretty crazy to go into. The into politics and politics yeah i would have gone like, into like her hermit being a hermit <laughs> a professional her hermit 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 stuff minor or something something where i'm away yeah. from tall buildings where snipers could be underground but, ideally subterranean life yeah yeah i don't know just pretty cool to have, have like a leg are you are you an rfk fan yeah, after that commercial, <laughs> yeah. I went, you, get you know what, vote? it was pretty good back then, way before I was born, I yeah. think that was good. All the black and people think, were watching it and were like, yeah. I'm not voting for this. <laughs> back then, fuck that shit, dude. Let's take this shit back. That was before LBJ, I'm, fuck that. 60 years. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was just a very, uh, I thought, I was waiting the whole ad for like Donald Trump to pop up and be like, this is, this is all hoopla. And then it was just a real ad. I'm like, oh. oh. It's just like self-parody almost, but yeah, it's cool. It's like something you'd see in Succession or something. Hmm. Have you watched that? Not no, to bring it back to shows. God, succession. Show. No, you keep four great seasons. Four great seasons. Yeah, sounds like Game Solid of Thrones. Four great that was such seasons. a Connor move, right? Succession fans. <laughs> what RFK did. <laughs> such a Connor move. Who's Kendall? Who would be the Kendall? Ugh. <clears throat> I'm gonna go grab a Diet Dr Pepper. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, I wish I had one. And then R so RFK, angry. by the way, the reason why he maintains relevancy, I don't think, is because of his he politics can do at all. He can do push-ups, and he's like a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> and oh, I feel like the only reason he, he wants to get in a vote, <laughs> yeah, he just wants to be in the Oval Office so he can go like, give me those documents that I wasn't able to have two months ago. I need to read yeah. everything, and then he'd be like, all right, I resigned. I a clip recently <laughs> where people were like, can you even, it was like another podcast, where like, can you blame him for being a conspiracy theorist? Like, yeah. this guy's got, like, the, the legacy of, like, conspiracy around him. Yeah. Yeah, it would be cool to just get that position, just to look. Just to look, and then I would yeah. fucking resign. I wouldn't do shit. Yeah. <laughs> After I see how deep it goes. <laughs> Kill myself. Yeah, oh get my all God, the files. Yeah. Leave me a revolver and get me all yeah. these files. <laughs> Close the door. I'll be fine. I had Yo, some matching. Speaking of oh, uh, Swift. Yep. And the conspiracy thing. I have been on a conspiracy. No, 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 not not quite a. It's not like a political conspiracy. But have you ever heard of the Dyatlov Pass incident? You ever heard Absolutely of it? Absolutely not. No. Okay. I've been like. Reading I mean, I'm this. interested in conspiracies, not more than your probably average person. You know, I'm, I guess I'm, I keep out of them. Yeah. Because I, they make me think of bigger things and. That's what's so scary about them. To make imagine a big picture. Well, this one isn't so much like, this one's like mysterious death type conspiracy, oh, yeah. not like Well, those ones I don't like because they're creepy. Cause yeah. Because I don't like, what if I die in a mysterious? Well, this one brought me back to. A little old time, long time ago in Idaho. Ooh, set the yeah. scenes. Okay, so these, uh, there's, by the way, there's actually like people that are smart that have made complete dissertation type videos. I can see me in your glasses. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. I got <laughs> you and me over yeah. on my OBS and then you. Um, the Dietlov Pass incident, dude. 
it happened in 1959. It was like these nine hikers that are going through uh, the northern Ural Mountains. And they're in the middle mm-hmm. of fucking nowhere. And uh, they all died, basically. And uh, when they found their camp, they they had their little tent up here. And kind of like in like this little saddle area between two mountains. They had their tent in the middle. And their tent was cut from the inside. Where you could tell someone had just like taken a knife and went whoosh, and cut from the inside. Completely destroyed it, basically. And then they found the bodies. Uh, like six of the people had died from hypothermia. And they were down in like a wood line, like a, a a mile away from the tent. And then there was three more bodies that were found that were completely fucked up. Like their ribs and all their ribs had been broken. One of them was missing their eyes and their lips no. and their tongue. And Turned it, into a blind person. Now. Yeah. And one person was like radi- radioactive. Like their, their clothing was radioactive. It was giving off like little... Geiger counter stuff. It's giving Chernobyl. Yeah, it was just weird, weird vibes. Yeah. But what's weird is that they were found like a distance away from their tent, no fucking clothes. So these people like had a panic in the middle of the night where they were just like, get the fuck out of here. And they all just, nine people just ran away from the yeah. tent. It was something like negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And they were able to figure out that the last meal they had ate was like eight hours ago or six hours ago. So it was like two in the morning. Imagine just at two in the morning in Idaho, if you just woke up to me going like well, cutting the thinking. tent yeah, and just I mean, running I'm naked out into the woods. mushroom trip, you <laughs> yeah. know, we, we were a, a little <laughs> bigger dosage away from that. <laughs> from you know? that yeah. If you had, if you had been full tripping in the middle of the night, I could see you being like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, the tent's getting too small. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get out. And um, actually, I did. I oh, I have like my voice just changed from my fucking phlegm in the back of my throat. <laughs> no, I I've been getting a little yeah. loogies. And everybody uh, is home right <laughs> now because everybody has the flu except for me. And uh, and, and so I'm scared. I mean, I'm you always get, get it. Well, Abby said. You're not going to get it because you got the flu shot. And then I asked if I should get me and the girls the flu shot. And you said no. And I was like, why would you listen to me? I don't remember telling you that. Why would I tell you that? You know, also, why would you like? a? Yeah. She was like, you you were very adamant. Then. You said, don't get it for the girls and don't get it for me. And then what? and then and I was like, but I have it. And she's like, yes, you just got it. I was like, when did I get it? She was like, you went to the doctor and they asked you. Apparently, she had to call up to the doctor and say, like, did you give Sam a flu shot? And they're like, yeah, we asked him. And he said, sure. (laughs) But he said, do not give it to my family, whatever you do. (laughs) This is an indicator, by the way, how bad my memory is that I don't remember getting the flu vaccine. And then I didn't. I told Abby, do not get it. Whatever you do, don't get it. So now, I don't have it. You shouldn't get it. Yeah. You totally forgot that you'd been there. So everybody is upstairs with the flu, and I'm like, That's awful. I'm, That's like, yeah. <laughs> That's just. I'm fine. But I feel like I'm like, not. I, the, dude, I don't fucking know. Almost like know. a joke. Like, I feel like I that's know. just a joke. Like, yeah. I, no, you shouldn't get it, Abby. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, Sam, I will not get it. I, will. I don't know. I, I think she just asked me stuff and Maybe I just answer cons- and then just walk yes, away. No, yes, no. <laughs> shut off my mind half the time. Yeah. Christ. But I saw a video of this this guy actually having a bad trip on I think shrooms. He's just in an elevator and his girlfriend is like trying to calm him down and he's screaming like he's like terrified of her. Yeah. He's like, get away from me! <laughs> and she's like, she's obviously like, what the hell is going on? And that's why I'm scared to try to reach that level we got in Idaho because I was like, what if, you know, what if I freaked the fuck out? Yeah. Yeah. Especially, it was, I mean, it was like incredibly cold when we were there. You ripped that tent open. I mean, luckily we're, we probably could make it to the car before we died, but it's going to be cold. It's going to be very cold. It would have been very cold. Yeah. Uh, Have you ever, oh, sorry. I also don't think there was a a possibility that we, yeah, we were so close to the the car. I think we could have. still though like, Decent walk, like it at would, night. Yeah. We might. Brian would have died. We would have. We, we would, would have had to cut open Brian and crawl into him like Star Wars style, <laughs> <laughs> within <laughs> eyesight of the Tauntaun car. Though, of course, or... yeah, we'd yeah. be like right there. <laughs> I thought they smelled bad <laughs> <sighs> on the outside. 
then you I cut, cut him, him open and fucking asshole. like <laughs> start in the butt. Just like Cheeto dust in his hole. guts and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Climb into him, wear him. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah. I uh, have you ever watched the show Wilfred? <clears throat> no. I really liked. I liked that show a lot when I was a kid. Um, apparently, my dad. I brought it up to him the other day. He said it's like a lot of what we have is just like we watched. We watch a lot of shows, and uh, he's been harboring some uh, resentment about this show and me since I guess I was a kid. Because I talked to him, and I'm like, "Yeah, I've, I've just rewatched Wilfred," and he's like, "Ugh, yeah, pretty good show, huh?" I'm like, "Yeah, I liked it." He's like, "You finally watched that last season, huh?" No idea what he's talking about. I'm like, yeah, I watch. You know, I'm watching the whole show. He's like, yeah, when you were a kid, you would never watch the last season. Like, I have no memory of that. Like, yeah, well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't watch it. I'm like, Are you holding well, a grudge, you, Dad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Dad, I've like, you know, I was probably like eight years old. I have no, no idea. But I do that with shows that I get how that'd be very frustrating. Where like, if I like something, I'll just be like, well, I don't want to finish it yet because then it's over. Yeah, I don't want you know the satisfaction of finishing it. I want the option of continuing and then i never do it's like goonie but, anyway, I, but for shows yeah yes yeah. it is like show it's gooning. edging yeah i'm show show gooning that's what japanese people used to do back in the day huh uh right like shogun like kind of like a shogun <laughs> joke or something yeah uh, that kind of <laughs> yeah kind of yeah, kind of and i wouldn't uh, open with it yeah it's like a it's like a if the crowd's already losing you, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> try to get them back. This awesome shogun. Yeah, joke. if you walk out and you you're just flatlining, yeah, I would. <laughs> I might end with that one. My dad and I shogun. I like that shogun's kind of. Uh, but the show's about just like Elijah Wood being. Is he schizophrenic? Is he not? Is it a big conspiracy theory? And I think it does like paranoid schizophrenia well. Yeah, and the whole show he's just seeing this. Wait, dog, when you, you were know. a kid, Elijah Wood was. I mean, I I wasn't eight when this was out. I was probably like twelve or. Th- I can okay. look it up. Yeah. Oh, never Maybe mind. Elijah Wood's old. Lord now. of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just realized like a Lord of the Rings came out in like the nineteen ninety eight, right? Uh. And like how old was he? Two thousand one. How old was he when they were making that? God. Lord of the Rings. He was God, okay. He was on. young. Jeez. I uh, think. Go- googling. But he always uh, looks young. That guy could be like 40 and he still looks young. It's a, you know what? That's the positives of being Christ. small. Yeah, it came out in 2001, but it was probably filmed, you know, in like 99. And then he was probably like, Christ, why are you making me like do math? Analytics and math. Why does I hate Bang? I hate that I have to, well, I. I know it's like I'm using it, but I hate the. It's like not showing his age and the top results. Like, well, who doesn't do that on a fucking search engine? You That's fucking... the only reason people like, yeah, like Google height, a celebrity. How, how tall is yeah. he and how old is he? And it's not showing me either. <laughs> or right how much now. money do they have? Those are the only reason people. Okay, so he was like. Look up celebrities. I don't know. He was like 20 when it came out, the first one. Anyway, Wilfred came out in 2011. So I was 13. Anywho. Good show. Would recommend kind of viewers, you know, if you want. To, there's a couple jokes in there that have like aged poorly, but also who cares? You know, it's from 2011 and uh, the the dog guy is really funny. The guy that plays the dog. But it's also like it's been like a weirdly. I'm not a crazy person, you know, but uh, the show on rewatch at this age is hit a lot harder and they've got like kind of motivating. It's like a it's a m- more sincere and like somber show than I remembered. I remember being a kid and being like, funny talking dog. Yeah. And now I'm like, this guy's really going through it. And he's crazy. <laughs> and he's, life sucks. Mm. Doesn't, I don't relate, but I think it's, I can put myself in the boots of someone that could. Who's that? I think there's a movie called like Dave's Apartment or something like that where the roaches are like dancing in his tomb. <laughs> Sounds odd. Like a gif of a dancing roach? Is yeah. Anything like that? <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of this movie in my life. Uh, I remember roaches dancing on like a, a toilet or something, and then they do like synchronized diving into the bowl. It okay, maybe... well, it sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have not seen it. And this. I remember thinking, maybe. oh, this is awesome. And then I, I think it's not supposed to be like a. <laughs> somebody you're supposed it's to like really like to. The worst thing that could happen to a man <laughs> is you're seeing this. Having that many roaches <laughs> dancing. Dancing. Around. Yeah. It's like Asmund Gold's house. (laughs) 
Oh, it's a uh, oh a Jerry o a rare Jerry O'Connell led movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's only just like one scene that they that they kind of like over marketed. Do you remember that the movie Kangaroo Jack? Oh yeah. Every advertisement for it showed the kangaroo, the kangaroo talking. talking. Yeah, and then the movie comes out and there's like maybe a flashback, yeah. like one scene. I still liked that movie when I was a kid, but honestly, I was very put, let down. You can put anything in front of me when I was a kid, and I'd be like, that was pretty good. Yeah. I miss that like kind of just optimism of just like every show and movie was at least an eight. Yeah. <laughs> like there was. Uh, I, I, don't I remember really... first PG thirteen movie I've ever seen was uh, Men in Black in theaters. I mean, that's and just a good movie. It's a good ass movie. And that like intro chase where the guy's just running from Will Smith and then he like runs up the side of the building, Ugh. like on all fours. I remember. I forgot about that, but yeah. I was like, cool. dude, that guy, that is awesome. That is a, it's one of the greatest movie chases I've ever seen in my life. The guy just ran up the wall. I got a Spider Man. And, and then there's a, you know, Will Smith sitting there thinking about whether or not he should join Men in Black. I was like, man, this thing, this is a real cerebral movie. This movie's deep. Yeah. It's a thinker. It's a, it's thinker. a thinker. Yeah. Yeah. That movie fucking rocks. And I still do that with like, watch Wilfred. I'm like, this is really a thinky man's <laughs> TV show. And it's probably just like, he just gets high with a dog in a basement all the time. I'm like, this is like pretty deep. It's pretty deep. You know, this is not for kids. This is PG 13 at least. Yeah. I don't know. I'm by no means like I don't think either of us are like you're a little more like film buffy in terms of like Do you, you watch way more some... shit than me. Oh. I, I consume a lot, but you're yeah. like, you should watch this nineteen fifties noir. I'm like, I've never heard of this in my goddamn <laughs> life. You know, is it like related to Kangaroo Jack? <laughs> no. Okay. Is it a sequel? Is it a squeakquel? No? Okay, probably not. Well very... I stick in my lane a lot. Uh, I watch a lot of shit I know I'll like. Which well, I, I only watch stuff where it's like, is it, do are people going like, you have to watch this. Mm. And so I'll watch it. I don't just, I'll never just turn on something just because it's there. I don't know. I can get Especially if it's trailer. like a name. Like, uh, for example, <laughs> Game of Thrones. I was reading the wow. books when the show came out. I was like, oh, this rocks. And then the House of the Dragon or whatever, like the, yeah. the sequel came out. And I was like, this is just more of a prequel. Prequel. It's like floating just on the the name Game of Thrones. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Like, I'm not going to. It's supposed it's to be a, good, too. It, it is good. Yeah, yeah. I watched it. I and I it. just had no interest in it because I'm like, fuck, it's just a name. It, like, they're just trying to get, I guess, that, that Game of not, Thrones. It's based off, like, one of his side books or something, right? I don't know. There's a whole world that he's built over there. You know what? The fact that I'm never going to be able to read the last <laughs> ones, I'm like, I fuck, I don't care anymore. Yeah. It's dead to me. It's dead to me. It was one of the greatest reading experiences of my life. And then I you realized that all those books were, were written in like a four or five year period or something in the 90s. And then he waited like a decade, came out with one last one. I bought it new. And then I've been waiting for like an asshole yeah. for well over a decade. He just, just needs, sitting here. He needs some of the shit. He's going to fucking Sanderson die, smokes. dude. He's going to die and it's going to be over. I know. Yeah. Sanderson can pump out. 2,000 page books a year. Mm -hmm. This guy's over here farting around. Yeah. You know, changing the name of a village or something for 10 years. And he has to. It's easy. Just let me do it. Let me finish it. Oh. I would fuck it up so quick. Jon Snow hangs <laughs> yeah. dong and becomes emperor. <laughs> he gets a bang anyway. Honestly, and Rob Stark comes the, back to life. If and you write lewd shit in there, like, yeah. they would never second guess it. Like, this is just George. Because yeah. I, I didn't realize how. Describe I'm just gross and minded. Yeah. And then reading it, I was just like, so what? Like, whatever. And then you go to the subreddit and people will like highlight passages and they're like, what the fuck was he? This guy's Morning. like a little pervert. He's like yeah. a old pervert. That's dude. probably like a most like the original fantasy authors. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> they're just like, yeah. it's just a cool, horny way to get that shit out there. Yeah. So yeah. I've, I've reread, of course, that. One chapter where Daenerys has insane diarrhea in the middle of the desert. <laughs> You've brought this yeah. passage up before, yeah. <laughs> I keep seeing people like talk about it. They're like, "Why does it go into such detail? Why is it not in the show? Why they forget yeah, that for yeah. the show? Or just Maybe drinking can, and shitting? Yeah. And drinking and shitting. I don't know. <laughs> it, the only re I like the House of the Dragons because 
the Game of Thrones show, I mean, they did so much to, like, ruin their legacy and taint their image with, like, their dreams of making a Star Wars movie and then just, like, rushing the end Game of Thrones that it's kind of, like, it's the first time in so long, like, it had been literally years where my friends and I could, like, gather around and be like, this is, this is good you know like yeah. it's good it's going to be good you, you kind of know where things are gonna go a little but it's entertaining it's, it's a lot better than the last like two seasons of game of thrones you know what the more i've like looked at it the more i kind of i don't sympathize with with the the directors i forget their names d d and d is what they call them I yeah, yeah. but having to make all these plot lines reach their conclusions while the characters still have to play how their characters would play, ooh, that's hard. <laughs> that's fucking hard. I, 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 I don't, I don't envy that they had job. An easy job, yeah, but I think I they, wouldn't envy that for sure. They clearly had like a pretty massive fall off at a yeah. point. I mean, probably after they stopped being able to follow books, probably I, would also make it a lot harder. I saw this great compilation of just like the the writing of each character through the seasons. Yeah. And it what they would, do to Jamie Lannister at the end, dude? What it, it will it isolates the dialogue of like Jon Snow as the seasons go, and like after season five, half of <laughs> what he says is just like she's my queen. Yeah, she's my, I'm like, dude, what happened to this guy? They yanked every cool thing he's ever oh, said, sh- any internal struggle. He just like broods and they made him pussy with. Yeah, stands Bruce, there with a cape, like, looks out at the ocean aunt or whatever. Mm. yeah damn little yeah it's just like a sad like it's it's honestly crazy how much it kind of tarnished it's just like pop culture relevance too like it for a while there it was everywhere and they did such a bad job just universally that it's like until house of dragons i mean i had kind of forgotten it was even like I think they will be remembered for this for the rest of our lives. Yeah. And I think they it is going to it is going to fuck up their career big time. I know well, it already did. It, I mean they did. lost that Star Wars movie yeah. and now anytime they do a project people are like, "Oh, these fuckers." Yeah, these, these two fuckers. Guys. I would split up if I was them and, yeah, and just try like the, to do a solo thing. I'm sad that the uh Oh my god. Why can't what am I thinking? The uh, Star Wars the brothers? No, the D and D Cohen brothers. Oh, Cohen broke brothers, up, yeah. and now they're doing like a movie. Have you seen that? They broke up. There's, they broke up, and the, one of their new movies just says from a Cohen brother or like from one of the Cohen brothers. What the fuck? What like, happened to the yeah, brothers? Why? Why wouldn't D and D break up and yeah. keep the Cohen brothers together? Well, forever, what's with so they D- can make Barton Fink too? What's up with the Cohen brothers? Why'd they break up? I don't know. Just like that happened to the Safty brothers too. They, like, have you seen like Good Times or like Uncut Gems? Now they are, they've also, now it's just like one of them doing something. I think it's probably just like more like we want to make a name for ourselves. But at that point, it's like, suck it up. You're a brother. Name for yourself. They, they're like cemented in Hollywood history as like some of the best. I, I would give the Coen brothers more of a benefit of a doubt where maybe it's just like a one-off, but yeah. also mm. I hope, you know, yeah, mm. they, they, they've already done it like they're, but then again, it's like, you know, it's I weird. Know, maybe, is, maybe you, it's in driving them crazy. I was watching toy story, the first one and the yes. screenplay was in part written by Joel Cohen. I did not know that. I didn't either. And Joss Whedon. I did not know that either. I, I think that. they're like co <laughs> co writers or something like that, but it's just weird that's to see just one brother without the and now other. Now that could be all we see forever. Uh-huh. I like it when they stick together through thick yeah. and thin, just like those. And I wish they were identical. Those sisters from the Matrix. Yes, where they're like they one's transitioning and they're like, "Fuck it, I'm doing it too." And now Did they're you, both chicks. Oh God, I have to piss really bad. Go but piss. I'll hold on one second. Because I want to talk about identical twins really quick. Because I've talked about this recently with her. Do you? Th- are you the type of person that would like hate having a twin? Yeah, I'd or kill would them. You see, 
Cain and Abel. I don't know. I would, I don't know if I would this assassinate is, him. I don't know if that makes you like more self-centered or less because it's like I guess it's why you want a twin. No, I'm so self-loathing that if I looked across the oh, room and saw another fucking person that's exactly like me, I would be I like, "This is like the 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 catharticness that I would get out of suicide, but I get to do it to you." I think is how I do it. You know what's it. even worse that I'm about to say? I think I'd rather have a clone. I think I'd rather have a clone than an identical. Because yeah. I just want someone that can, like, w when I ask my friends to take an Instagram picture of me, and they're just like, <laughs> you know, no style, <laughs> no <laughs> angles, nothing. I just need someone that's yeah. going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Someone with some sort of mind link. And... Maybe someone to experiment on sexually, you know, just to see what I look like at different angles, things oh, like that. What that I look like I taking think, back shots. Of course, that would be the first thing you get into. But I'm saying throughout our lives, eventually, yeah. I think I would die. love to have a twin. And this sounds very sad, but just so I could have like a built in friend too, where it's like maybe we could get an apartment yeah. together in the city no. and we could. Now, I couldn't take it if they were, you know, you see those identical twins where. The twins themselves are like, we're identical, but you can clearly see one of them's hotter. Yeah, this one's been mewing. This one's been yeah, looks maxing. That, that would drive me crazy if like yeah. my twin was just substantially hotter than me. <laughs> he's you, but he's just got like a better jawline. It's like, fuck He's no. just like, I mean, he's probably got like a functioning cock and like yeah. a, a really good jawline. We could go on and on. Six pack, you know, some like really built out delts. That would drive me crazy. Respect to the family. Yeah. As long as I could be maybe, and he's funnier. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that would just see the real kick in it. He'll, he's just like more successful than me. Because you'd also be weird. Like, <clears throat> imagine if I were on this podcast <clears throat> and I had an identical twin that was just like me. <clears throat> like, you'd have to have him on as a guest every once in a while. But then it's like too much. I think yeah. it'd be really annoying for all all the people I know and love. Because it's like, two of you. Yeah, I would, me, yeah. <clears throat> it would not be. I've talked about this. That before, I said yeah. I would kill my twin. I would probably kill yeah. yours too. Would, <laughs> I'm pretty twin crazy. Yeah. I I don't. Well, twin clone, crazy. That makes yeah. you seem like you love them. No. I, that, we okay. They send I me know, into a rational anger when I see two people that look too much alike. I know how we work, and I know we've talked about this, and I know <laughs> that will trigger this pathway that I will probably have talked about in my school. Growing up, I had, there was two identical twin counselors that dress the exact. There were those types of twins where they wear the exact same thing. You would hate them. Yeah, every day wear the exact what are you, same a thing. Fucking monk, like get your they own have, goddamn wardrobe. No, they they take it so much further, and they probably would have made me my whole life. Like honestly, like pretty freaked out about twins and the whole thing because they're those twins. They are just pure identical. Yeah. They have kids the same age. They have two sets of kids that are the exact same age, which makes them like, you know, creepier. Yeah. And then they got married. Hey, bro, you, same... you gonna nut in her? Because yeah. I'm about Dude, to. No, they genuinely yeah. plan it out with their husbands. They have the same wedding ring. Uh... They have the same everything in their life. And they got married at the same time. I have these kids, whatever. And you just see them around the school. I mean, you, how the hell are you to, to tell them apart? I don't know how their yeah. kids tell them apart. But they just had a real creep. They had a real shining vibe to them because it's like the shining's already done that, you know. So I also, there's a stereotype. I can't imagine being the, the. I say I'd love to have an identical twin. We would not dress the same. No, except I, I for think, bits. We yeah, do I don't bits. know if this is a very American mindset, but I mean, look at you right now. You're wearing red wings. You got the red, red sunglasses. It's in like the way your room's laid out. I'd have to All order the two shit of these. That I have, that's twenty bucks total. I, if I'd order two of these, a lot of what people strive for is just like individuality. Oh, like, yeah. like a, this is this is myself. Something and the fact for that yourself, someone yeah. just goes like, "Me and you are going to be the same," <clears throat> but it could be an awesome team up. It strips you of your identity, and it fucking concerns me. That's why one twin normally it's, like dyes their hair or yeah, something. Yeah, I would, or one of them gets jacked or something. I would go to Afghanistan and come back as one of those burn victims where I have like web skin. I'd be like, I'm wearing. Can you believe it? We're identical. <laughs> People would go, my God. No. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, there was identical twins I worked with in college and they were identical, but one of them was just a lot hotter than the other one. No, if, if they yeah. survive or hear this, they're really nice. Isn't you that know? just called paternal twins? Isn't that what the, yeah. they're like twins, but not yes. quite? But they were, 
but they claimed they were like, we're identical. Like it was like kind of a delusion or something, or maybe just like a niceness. Yeah, you guys are just in part. the same womb. There's yeah, a difference. Where I'm like, this one is, this one's a lot, you know, like yeah. looks traditionally hotter than this one. But they would do that shit where they're like, can you even tell us apart? And I just felt so awful. I'd be like, I, you know, I'd have to be like, oh, which one? Okay. Is it Babes McGee or is it this duff over here? No, I'm just They're actually both pretty hot. You know, I, granted. They were both standard hot. I had but the one same of them was thing hotter. growing up. There was a, a, one of them had like a beautiful butt chin that just came oh, out. Just big butt chin. Just big jawline. And the other Brad one had. Pitt. The other one had like an earthworm gym head, like no chin. All sack chin. The other one had a butt chin. <laughs> we, we used to always laugh that like your brother stole your chin in the womb. Like there's no way your yeah, head no, must if have been. people made, made that joke at me, I'd kill myself. Yeah, that <laughs> Your is... head must have been pushed up against the womb wall or yeah. something. You got no chin. Yeah. <laughs> and they were so That's different, awful. but they were always like, he's my twin. And I'm like, yeah. you, no, you can't even say that. I don't even care if you're paternal twin. I, mean, I don't even think you're brothers at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they this is your they looked as alike as me and my brother look, which is pretty we're pretty different. I could do with that too. I could have a paternal twin. I think. I think I would just like a sibling around my age. Oh and yeah, a twin is like the yeah, like the most that you can have. I guess, but I don't think I'd want. You know, I have one of my good friends is a girl boy twin, and they've just fought their entire lives. Yeah, they're fuck that. Like they're like they look similar, but people are, oh, people always see them are like. Hmm, you guys look related. And like, we're twins, and then they fight and fight. Now, if I had a brother, you know, I think we'd be we'd be like some sort of dynamic duo, like the Cohen brothers, or D and D, even though they're not twins. But are they even brothers? I don't even think they're fucking brothers, dude. Oh, they're just two dickheads that me. got together <laughs> somehow. And you know what's fucked up is before Game of Thrones, I don't think they had ever had a successful anything. So how the hell did they get? I don't know. In that, How in they that do chair. a good job for a while. Oh, that's the secrets to their stuff. That's pretty obvious. There's a there is a breaking <laughs> point where the show turns to shit, and you go, the source material is gone. But yeah, I don't know that whole. Uh, have you ever seen the people that have like in vitro fertilization? They'll have like triplets and they qu- eat one quadlets or whatever, and they'll just oh. it's just more than two. Ki- I couldn't fucking deal I with have- that. I have seen I tri- I could... identical triplets before, and they were they were a lot older than me, but they were pretty hot, and that was cool. But yeah, trip. I, I haven't even considered that in my mind. Like the idea of four of me, and oh to and God. to have a healthy dynamic between three of them, there has to be one that's like there's a pecking order. Obviously, two you there's you have to there's have cartoon no pecking stereotypes. Order. Yeah, you have to have the leader. You have to have the 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 hulking one, and then like the ugly one or something. Down the road from me growing up, there was two girls that were identical twins, and they got their hair cut the fucking same way. They wore the same little onesie every day, same socks, same shoes. They shared it. And I'm like, what the fuck is... And they, they had, like, similar names, where it was, like, these names where they had, like, Mary-Kate and Olsen. Yeah. You know, like, they, it was, like, a Mary-Kate, and then the other one was, like, something, Mary-Kate. something. And well, I I Mary-Kate could never Ashley, tell them apart. Right? Yeah, so man, whatever. Really Mary-Kate and Ashley, yeah. And, uh... I could never fucking tell them apart on the bus. And I, I, th- it was so foreign to me and so confusing. I never even learned their names. I never learned who was who. I didn't even try talking to them because I was like, I don't know which one I'm even talking yeah. to at this point. I don't know those teachers' It's a names. social block for me. I'm like, you look too much like this other person. Yeah. And I'm not even going to fucking deal with it. I don't think I, mean, I could deal with someone talking to me and not knowing it's fucking me. Yeah, Just being in be, that position. Like having to preface everything with yeah. being like, I'm Ashley, by the yeah. way. Where you start talking shit about the person yeah. that looks exactly like me. Go ahead and that, switch. Your that's about yeah, as I foreign think. as I could get, is just yeah. someone looking so close to me and sounding like me. A lot and, of people probably do just like on their like group twins together too. They're just like give them no identity yeah. individually. But a lot of them don't help it when they dress the same and shit. Like they're really going into that. But yeah, to be a twin that doesn't want to be a twin. Now, I would love to be a Siamese twin because then it's like you have a twin that you're even closer to and you get to share one big shirt and one big pair of pants. I think I would I would make that conscious decision when I'm old enough and I would look at them and be like, look, we got one heart. I'm cutting you out. (laughs) I'm keeping the heart. I'm cutting you out. Have you ever seen the movie Stuck on You? 
That just came to me when I thought of the Siamese twin movie with Matt Damon. No. <laughs> and Greg Kinnear. No. That's like the only experience I have of how Siamese twins work. And I'm just going to assume that movie is probably not a great representation, but it's all about, you know, they're like chefs or something. They're, they work together and they're brothers. They love each other. And then one of them falls in love. That's a classic Siamese twin. Like, what do you do there? I yeah. think at the end they get a, they just get surgery that cuts them apart. But if it's that easy, I don't know how if it's like, just I don't, skin. I think, maybe they don't. Maybe it's like they're wanting to, and then they do. Also, like, how does that work? Because then you don't have an arm and a leg, right? Or I guess sometimes they have them both. Both. I. And they're just conjoined at like the hip. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, what a medical miracle to like separate two people <laughs> like that and just like patch them up. It's probably incredibly. I dangerous. think some of the more famous ones they like, also the, it's a movie. The <laughs> so. ones that are in like the circus and stuff. Like yeah. some of the more famous ones, they realized they could have. There was just skin attaching them. They could have just cut them oh. apart and they would have been fine. But some That's of them a, do share like intestines or something. Uh, like one butthole. Yeah. Like what are you to? Who gets the diaper? Who gets the who wipe? Gets the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've seen I've seen on TikTok these uh, these conjoined twins that uh one of them has a boyfriend and the other one doesn't, and the one that doesn't have a, like they share a vagina, and the one that doesn't just like wears headphones. I guess does she feel? Like, I I don't understand enough yeah. of how it works, but I think they both feel it, uh, and that's just crazy. Yeah. Also, just being that guy, I don't know if I could tune out the like the lady <laughs> the that's attached, just like the the lady arms. attached to the yeah. woman I'm banging that shares a vagina. I don't know. I think that I don't know if I'm a big enough man. I don't know if I have a big enough penis to cover the vagina of two people. That's what I'm getting at. But no, I, yeah, it would just be. It's quite bizarre, I'd imagine. Yeah, it's not an everyday. No, for sure not. But the have you seen those two teachers that they used to have like a like reality show that, yeah. <laughs> that they're conjoined and now I think they're they're teachers. But imagine just unleashing that on a fucking middle school. It, those kids probably fucking make fun of them so much. They walk I mean, in and it's, it's yeah, they got one set to. of legs and they they're pointing out in different directions. They probably tie their shoes together all the time. Yeah, you can't fucking can't pull one over on a teacher like that i was trying to think last episode we're talking about all the hijinks i got up to in elementary school a teacher with four fucking eyeballs two independent heads being able to keep an eye on stuff i wouldn't have been able to sneak and steal shit from those teachers dude doing a double shoulder tap on both of them they go twist it off and fall down but that is funny though like the idea of them always on the lookout like (laughs) basically just becoming like a mythological creature like if you really played into it where you're like constantly scanning the ones looking back here yeah. and you just have like your arms four way crossed you could look really scary to a child i don't think i if you're gonna be that deformed no offense no offense I would not wear regular clothes i would be dressed like a fucking movie villain because it's like you're already a Siamese twin. You already look crazy. Like a godson. I would have like, yeah, I would get like a, you, you know, like bad guys always have the big, insanely high popped collar. I'd get one big enough that both of our heads are behind it. That would be you sweet. Know? And then two, two little like Peaky Blinders caps. Mm-hmm. And then I would also be like smoking cigarettes and then have the other one like light it for me. And then I put it in their mouth. <laughs> And then I, they would smoke, grabbing. and then I would blow smoke out my mouth, even though they hit it. We'd be doing shit like that all the time. Like, we'd be holding a little smoke. Or, like, one of them eats a burger, and then I'm like, hmm, that was good. <laughs> Just stuff like that. I mean, maybe I would love to have yeah. one. Yeah, we could do I would wait until the other one seats. is talking and doing something serious, and I would fart really loud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're not trying to blow this date? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fart. Did you say blow a fart? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be the really dumb twin that always gets up to hijinks. The other one's trying to go to Harvard or something. And I'm like, oh, teacher, what the hell chance? Just ruin his life. That would be awesome. That'd that, be a good movie. I think they that make would a be sequel to- the worst hell in the world. It's not... Not being an identical twin bastard. and being the ugly one, but yeah. being the conjoined twin. 
and you're the dumbest shit one. And it's like I think it'd be fuck. worse to be the smart one and have a dumbest shit like I guess. twin attached to you. And you're just trying to like work your job and he's just like ah. <laughs> I guess how dumb are we talking now? Are we talking like Larry the Cable Guy character dumb or are we talking just like kind of stupid? Uh, that, dumb enough that worse. it's annoying and they're not they're yeah. not ever going to learn. Okay, so like a dumb and dumber yeah. attached to you. Yeah. That would be, yeah. Identical, which, identical Siamese, but they have an extra chromosome. That would suck, yeah, for yeah. both both parties because you don't want to be in those meetings. No. You're a dumb guy. You don't want a dumb guy in those yeah, meetings. you're bored in there. Guy. Yeah. It's like being a kid and going to church. Just fucking. My grandpa used to oh, bring God. me extra of pieces of, of paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Getting dragged one of them's to church. Muslim, one of them's Catholic. Oh, boy. That's a good wacky comedy. <laughs> I think we the need something like that to get everyone to get along <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah, one's I need got to the pray. Abe Lincoln beard and yeah. the little hat. <laughs> a Jewish and awesome. a Muslim Siamese twin. Yeah. Oh. And the covers them like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we but we still love each other. <laughs> At the end of the day, pilot episode. He, you got a circumcision without asking yeah. me. <laughs> no, I, I want to get a late life circumcision. <laughs> I'm a new convert. <laughs> no, no. And then there's always a lesson at the end of every episode, mm. where they're like, "Hey, man, I won't get my penis cut <laughs> off because I respect you too much." Yeah. But then he's like, I already did, get, like, check. Yeah. I While you were sleeping, I cut it off for you or something. There'd be, a, there'd be a, like, at least a four-season show. Yeah. I was trying to get think, like, maybe something where they, because they share intestines, they one of them eats pork or whatever, but yeah. Jewish people don't eat pork, oh. and neither do Muslims, so something they can agree on. That's good. Yeah. That would be cool. Or maybe it's, like, Yeah. <laughs> Black Muslim one, <laughs> North African black Muslim attached to Southern Baptist. They're just like always like, oh boy, this is this would not normally. We would not normally be friends, but we have to be. <laughs> what one goes to the Westboro Baptist and, Church and yeah. the other one is a. Um, and they're cop partners. <laughs> and they don't speak the same language, but they're <laughs> brothers, I guess. <laughs> What if you're like, yeah, what if you're not a like a conjoined twin? You're just like a conjoined man. Like an, mm. a freak accident happens and you get like yeah. meat welded to another dude. You were, you both were doing shifts at the JB Weld factory. Yeah. And you get fucking welded together. Or like one of those machines that catches people's shirts and they're like, ah, God, and it rips them into it. two shirts, get ripped and tangled so tight. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get them off. <laughs> oh God, my meat shirt got all. Ah. They're, they're, just... <laughs> they're really lazy though, and they don't move. Because yeah. I did, I did see a story where this lady laid on her couch for so long that when they went to go get her off of the couch, she had actually her skin had grafted into the fabric <sighs> of the couch. Good. So I'm just assuming... the feeling of a leather couch on bare skin. <laughs> but no, no, it was a fabric. Real gra- couch. Yeah, real yeah, yeah. graft, <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, so if you horrible. put two people together long enough, I'm assuming yeah. they might graft into each other or something. <laughs> Just mush them. Yeah, they'll, they'll Maybe put together. them together on a couch. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. They graft together with the couch and you just cut them off the couch. <laughs> that must be fucking embarrassing. I remember the, the lady that was grafted the couch. She was so big, they had to cut the front say, of the house. It's they, pretty embarrassing being that fat. And now you're <laughs> a person that's grafted to a couch. I don't think there's any lower to go. I, I don't like, think, <laughs> like, sat on my dog and killed it. Maybe it's, like, the only thing lower. Like, oh, shit, there's been a dead dog in my belly this whole time. Like, what? In order to get her out, they she had a bay window on her house. They had to... They took a forklift and like uh, tore out the bay window and then brought a crane in to pick her up and bring her out. Ah, you gotta take the couch too. <laughs> oh, I'm tearing. I'm tearing at the seams. You gotta, you gotta get the couch. Got the couch off of me. Got it. <laughs> oh, they lift her up. The couch is off the ground, dragging. <laughs> Dude, she just looked like a hedonism bot from Futurama. Just like a, a oh, walking God. couch, yeah. that'd be awesome. What would give first, her skin or the couch? What's tearing off? Um, <clears throat> her skin. I'm assuming. Yeah, uh, I'm it's assuming. probably just like I would assume well, the couch would fall, and the cushions would just be like glued to her back. 
I say, like, I'd assume people that fat would have really weak skin, but, maybe, like, do they have, like, extra strong skin? Because it's always holding back so much fat from bursting out, or? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. If you're a really, really fat person in the comments, what's your skin like? Yeah, what's a skin elasticity? If you hold it up to a light, can you see your organs, or <laughs> is it, like, really thick? I don't know. I'd imagine it'd be thicker. I would right? assume you have a limited amount of skin. In but like, also, yeah, you're right, because it may be stretched it's out. Thin, you probably have weak points. Yeah. I would assume, one, marks. if you take a sharp pencil and poke a really fat person, they just... Ugh. they. Yeah, it's like watching one of those slow-mo videos of a water balloon popping as the... Yeah. The skin will just get it, yanked back really quick. Just like tap a straw into them and let it all leak out until they're normal. <laughs> it's all the juices out. Have you seen those videos of like and tap cows them. that they'll get like gases in their stomach oh, yeah. and then the, the and they, farmer comes they, up and they just tap them? Yeah, they just stab them with like uh, a big release valve. It probably stinks so bad. Yeah, the cows always, to. it's it, got to feel so good. Well, in my point of view, yeah, it's like he just got fucking stabbed. That has to be horrific. But the cows, uh, everybody in the comments, like, man, that must be so relieving for the cow. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't know, dude. He just, What's happening? He just stabbed him with a big yeah. fucking knife with a hole in the middle of it. Seems now I'm like shrinking. I'd be in agony. <laughs> What's happening? It's gonna stab me some sort of shrinking ray. Yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. Oh, have you oh, have you also seen the ones guys. where they they'll. I guess if, if like a cow has bad digestive issues, they'll cut a hole through their side into their stomach cavity and then uh. they'll just then they'll just put like a big ear gauge on it and put a cork in it. And so they can walk up to the side of the cow and pull off the cork and just look into uh. the stomach and the stomach oh. sitting there like churning grass and shit. And, they, and I've seen it where they pull out the cork and then he fucking reaches his hand in there and he's like smelling the, what is it, curds or whatever, or uh, the grass. And he's like, the bacteria is good in here. And then he like recorks it. That yeah, is, I mean, that's, just that's like, the most fucked up thing I've ever seen in my life. It's also just like a marvel, maybe to the testament of animals. Yeah. I don't know if it's more a scientific breakthrough. Or, I mean, it is also, but like the fact that a cow is just cool with that, like having a cork in it. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not, like, feels great, but, you no, know, I, I, it can still, the fact that when you open that up, it doesn't immediately just, like, infect its entire body and kill it, I don't well, know. Well, not just that, but think about the, the, the psyche of a cow. They're not exactly the the smartest thing, so if, if but this. But they're not, like, as dumb as some people give them credit for, you know, like. That's they're, true, but if a guy goes, hey, we're going to make a giant viewing port into your stomach, if I was an animal that didn't speak their language, I would freak the fuck out. I would be freaking <laughs> But. Dude, I saw the saddest um, when I was collaging. I can't remember if I sent you this article or, or like the picture or not. Um, I didn't. I will send it in here. But it was a. I was looking through some Life magazines back when science was just like, well, what? You know, we killed a thousand monkeys. Okay, like yeah. shit. My bad. And it was just like really, honestly, sad fucking like somber images of like chimpanzees and like mechanisms <laughs> and it was all about nasa tests and look at this picture um i mean i guess i'll put it in the fucking i can put it in forehead fables look at just like the life gone from this monkey uh wait do we even have like a forehead fables group anymore i don't know let's put it in this dm Okay, I sent it to you. Okay. But I just meant if, like, Stalt won it. You know, he's going to probably be curious. Like, what kind oh, of I, I'm sitting there like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's just no. a guy standing at a machine, and then I see the, <laughs> the Dude, saddest like, little monkey down look there. Look at that thing. <laughs> and the article's all like, we've got Daisy. She's going away for... They kept her in this for three months. And the article ends with, like, I was just... You know, I'm like, because I'm looking at this picture. I'm like, this is kind of badass, you know, for something. Yeah. But also, it's just too sad looking. Like, I, it was honestly, it was just upsetting me. And then the article ends with like, don't worry though, Daisy can get like pr plenty of exercise because she can pull a lever 80 times to get either a banana pellet or, or a drip of water is what they said. What the so this monkey is just like held in a contraption, just like <laughs> for a pellet of banana or a drip of water for three months. And they're just testing, like, 
some form of oxygen on this monkey. But I don't know. That thing, like, they're too aware. You know, like, there's animals where, you yeah. know, you're talking about, like, a cow's too... So like, this thing's just, like, trapped in some sort of hell. <laughs> like, just looking just at it, I've never hell, seen yeah. a more, like, grim face. The way the photo is shot to its eyes completely blacked out, it just looks like it's plotting, like revenge. Yeah, it's definitely, that's its villain arc. This looks thing, like the beginning of like a like a flashback from like yes <laughs> Mojo Jojo like or something. Super monkey like what human yeah. did to me. Yeah, yeah. I, I would get it too. I would be on that monkey's side. Like yeah. yeah, dude, this is fucked up. And that thing to its right just looks like a gun. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but <laughs> yeah, I like, like that. It just yeah, it's definitely got a 1911 that it pulls this lever 80 times and it gets a banana or it pulls well, it this a lever once. Closer. <laughs> it the pulls this lever once. At it. And it all ends. It's up to the monkey. I don't know. There was just like like five photos like this or like chimp completely shaved. And they're like, we're testing out this type of, you know, G-force on this chimp. Like, he's so brave. He gets to be like an astronaut. I'm like, this thing is, they're probably just like, ah! like shaking the hell out of it. We're like, what happened? It's just, uh. And they had like a bunch of frogs for some reason. They were testing shit on, which I'm like, okay, this thing's experiencing a le- you know, but all life is sacred to a degree. Yeah. And they've just got these frogs like hooked up to like <laughs> crosses and they got like tubes in them. I don't know. It's just, it's like I get it. You know, we advanced those scientists. We got, you know, thank God the Challenger was able to explode, you know, after all this, all this yeah. hard work. You know, they just had to kill a 10,000 uh, monkeys. The Leica, do you know the, the dog that is Russia? That do- Russian dog. Yeah. yeah. Apparently Shoot it was just there. some like. It was just some like street dog they found in Moscow, and they're like, "Man, it's a good boy. Shoot him up to the moon." And they they send him out into space to orbit, and then they just it just fucking they were like, "All right, reentry back into the atmosphere, success." What about the dog? Oh, he like burned up on reentry. He just gets fucking cooked on the way back. Uh, well, and now it's we like, know. and it wasn't like, you know. It's not like that that uh, that pod or whatever from. Have you seen Scavengers Reign? That anime on HBO. You've asked me. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And last, uh, for some reason, I keep thinking this is that dragon movie with Christian Bale. No, no but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's got that. Yeah, cool, the, one like, of Mobius the art style. Yeah, one of the like at the very beginning, they show like all these escape capsules from a ship like entering atmosphere, and one of them just blows up in an instant. I Ugh. don't think that's how like it went. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. That dog just cooked over like the course of like an hour coming back in. And then they probably ate it, those yeah. Russian <laughs> Fuck. fucking bastards. Yeah. <laughs> now it landed in far eastern Siberia and they had a nice barbecue on re entry. We're going to make another dog eat this cooked dog to see what it does. <laughs> what happens see to a man when they. meat is any good. Yeah, I feel like at that point, like, can you just put like a sex doll in the ship? Yeah. Just shoot it up there. <laughs> see what the like, oh, it's fine. You know Seems what they fine. they specifically prohibit sex up in space. You know somebody's done it. There's been Wait, somebody. Well, I yeah, I don't even get why they specifically prohibit it. Oh, well, what if you like get it's pregnant? Like the only thing to do. Oh, yeah. I, well, I mean, why, it's an even easier up there to just like shoot it on their chest and then like count. Like, okay, I've got all the <laughs> just floating around the building. <laughs> all the cums accounted for. This is a normal cum shot for me. <laughs> No loss, you know. Yeah. I just I would just be shooting it into an area on the spaceship, and then just kind of like ah, push it in the corner, and mm, stay there. I think I would I would probably shoot it like like a in like sharpshooters. <laughs> you know, I'd, I would set the trash can up across the space oh, station. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Because there's no friction, right? In the no, and there's a little I, bit of friction in the air, but I'm sure you could just like nut towards it, and it would slowly float. It might take ten well, minutes for it to get over there. I hope somebody doesn't come walking into the room. I would do that big shebang where I'm like, God, this is going to be so funny. And then I just dribble it and just pitter out of me. <laughs> just, just slowly drop to the floor. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I shoot downwards. <laughs> you know, downwards you say there's course. nothing else to do there, but have you seen what people will look like in space? They just look what, they, fucking the most unappealing shit I've ever seen. Like, they, they don't shower because they can't shower. Everybody's greasy. Their hair is like floating and it's greasy, so it's just kind of like always just sticking up and 
slicked up and shit. You can only do like somersaults yeah. so many times until and you're there, sick of it. And there's no gravity, and your body's used to fighting gravity. And so when there's none, like their faces and heads get really blown up because their body's oh. pushing all this blood up into their head. I don't know. People in I space fucking awful. look weird. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could go up there for an hour or two. I'd I, love to experience zero gravity, but I, I think I'd go up there for like six months. I think would be cool. <laughs> Just like a casual. I, I would say first you'd have to tell me you're getting Sorry, six Abby, months. Sorry, can't in help space. with the kids. I'm. I think it would be worth it. I think it would for any human to just go like, I'm going up in space for six months. I think that would be, be something a good podcast story. I think I would drop what I'm doing to go up there for sure. Six months, dude. No way. I do. Yeah. I could do a month, a month for sure. Yeah. Any amount of Wait, time. Can you play if they video lit games? Me, if they let me go up there, I would go up there. Do I get video games? Um, no, you get a camera to take pictures. It's pretty cool. That's digital. Pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Digital. <laughs> digital. Yeah. <laughs> They give they, you just one of those CVS cameras. You get 30 shots. I think the, the guy that spent the most time up in space is kind of funny. He went up there in the 80s, like 1989, and was supposed to be up there for like less than a year. And then the Soviet Union fell, and he was like a Russian astronaut. Oh. And he was like, all right, time for me to come down. And they were like, you don't have a government anymore, dude. Yeah. You're just up Good there. Luck. And he was like, okay. And so I guess he just piggybacked off of like rations that people brought up. I don't know. He just kind of stayed up there for an extra year. Imagine, like, not knowing if you can come back to Earth. That guy probably was freaking the fuck out. Psychological horror, yeah. yeah. Have you you watched, I'm sure, what, Moon? No, with, I haven't uh, seen that. Sam? Rockwell? Sam. No, I haven't yeah. seen it. Ah, oh, damn. It's I just watched list. that last year. It's very good. Yeah. Very good, but also, like, a, definitely a guy where... I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but he's on the moon. And he's like, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> and this sucks. Yeah. It's, and he's even got, like, an area where he can walk. You know, he's got, like, I think he has ping pong, maybe, or so. He's got some form of game. Yeah. But, yeah, Space Station, everything looks so tight and grim. And lots old. of Velcro. Lots yeah. of just shit on the walls. Everything Velcro right. to the walls. Have you seen That's those cups that they use to... There's like a specially designed space cup that you can drink out of. It just looks like a pussy. Like it's just, no. <laughs> oh, I'm not allowed to have sex up here. But my cup looks like I'm eating pussy. Oh, okay. God. <laughs> well, they make everything look like this. <laughs> yeah. You have to jerk your soap out of a cock. <laughs> the only way they can take a shower is to climb in this really big pussy. Wash yourself with these big tits or something. Yeah. <laughs> Why is everything so... So sexy up here. You, Fuck. You can't use a regular pen. You have to use this pen. It's one of the ones where you tip it upside down. It's a naked woman. <laughs> but it doesn't ever reveal. It's the gravity. No. Wait, I know. I know. Shake it really She's hard. She's naked. She's naked. <laughs> yeah. So what else do you want to talk about before in this? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm so. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still on my Diotlov pass. Fuck it. Uh, deep dive. Great question. Great freaking question. Let me sit back. <laughs> Let me ruminate. Oh, uh, let's think. Hey, we'll see that video of that cop schizo shooting a squirrel? Squirrel nut drop? You know what? I honestly, I'm on his side. <laughs> I uh, I hate squirrels in my yard. I no, it wasn't. It wasn't a. It was like a hickory nut hitting the top of his car. Yeah. Yeah. I had a hickory tree that dropped a bunch of nuts on my my car. <laughs> mag fucked it mag up, dumped. <laughs> yeah. Fucked up my car. The top of my car looks like somebody hit it with a ball ping hammer. And um I yeah, I was actually so pissed when I realized the damage that had been done to it. Broke Abby's windshield. I felt like mag dumping my car, but I wasn't a cop. I didn't have a guy sitting in the back of my car. He, mine was out of just pure frustration and anger. You should have shot the tree more yeah. if he was that angry at the nut. <laughs> Not blame the nut, blame the tree. So I just was he just like was walking so funny. and then it he falls? He was walking and... to his car and it scared him and he thought it was the guy he had handcuffed in his car. Was shooting was shooting him. him. And just the video though, so like the guy just instantly falling on the ground. And he goes. And it is, it is like, his gun is like in pieces <laughs> and he's just like crawling, like just grounding it up. I don't know. It's just like the least like cool you know like at least yeah. badass like cop video of all i've also time heard where, he says like i'm hit 
You, you don't, yeah. well, he, in the video, he's, yeah, he's like, I hit! And then later he's like, oh, I think I'm fine. And then when the backup shows up, he's like, am I hit? Am I hit? I don't know. I just feel like you would probably I, know more. You know, I've, this is conspiracy theory area, but, um. The government shot a laser into him. Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, somebody was telling me that cops, when they get into a shootout, they have been instructed to yell, I'm hit, for their body cam so that they have, like, plausible deniability if they, um. of, of, like, uh, assumed deadly force towards me. Because, remember, I did that thing with Donut Operator, and every oh, yeah. fuck it, every time he, I was like, was that justified? He would go, do you think your life's in danger? So, if you... Are gonna be- use your weapon as a cop if you go like oh, I'm hit. Got me good. Then that's you can say in the moment I thought I was being killed. I yeah. thought I was hit. You know. Oh, they two tap me. Oh, they throat yeah. shot me. But it's yeah. just oh, funny. That- I'd, be, I'd be on the camera just like gah, gah, gah. oh my god. I'd have a little blood capsule. I'd <laughs> drop and sprinkle in front of the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's raining blood. Be, yeah, oh, I would just set up a squib next to it so you get a good yeah. blood. Yeah, <laughs> just a geyser of fucking blood shoot out of her. I have them in my hands. Yeah, just yeah. Blood yeah. <laughs> hands just come up in the camera. Ah, <laughs> covered in blood. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. They got my eyes. They got my eyes. <laughs> Have a pair of glasses with a yeah. like a bullet that's like lodged into it. Look, yeah. it saved me. Hold it up to the bulletproof glasses. Yeah. My million dollar idea. That could, <coughs> it could be a good idea. Yeah. Bulletproof glasses. Uh, somebody just push them. <laughs> if somebody's a cop, you definitely need to get a bunch of like things with bullets lodged in them. Yeah. So that just in case you ready. you do need to mag dump a car that had a nut fall on it, you can quickly pull those up. And hold them in front of the camera. You're 15 pre, just like showing them off to the camera. What, I got fire. a bullet lodged in my and shoe. You, look. And here's my Bible that blocked a bullet. Here's my badge that blocked a bullet. Here's my gun that actually blocked a couple bullets on it. Just have like 20 smashed up bullets. <laughs> One oh of those God. bullets that hits another bullet and yeah. Yeah, he's like picking <laughs> up out of the grass. <laughs> he was firing at me, but I shot one just in time and stopped his bullet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a nut. Oh, uh, oh, 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 uh, shit. <laughs> These must have all been stray bullets coming down. <laughs> must have been a shootout they, they here. They kill. They yeah. kill. <laughs> I was picking up bad vibes from the area. <laughs> yeah. That's why I, I thought. <laughs> yeah, apparently that guy yeah. just resigned. I can't they, imagine. They... <laughs> I can't also, it's like kind of insane that he's just like, resign. Like, you don't get in any more trouble than that. <laughs> yeah. just... All right, I quit. All right. Yeah, I could. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna be a cop in Indiana. Do I get to keep my pension? Here. All right, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it has Imagine be- being arrested in the back of that car, and all of a sudden, I can't. I'm at, like you just see watching the cop that guy walking up. Fucking. You're probably just like, oh boy, this is gonna be. This is. A, I'm gonna be in jail for the night. <laughs> and then, <laughs> he falls on the ground. His gun yeah. blows up into a million pieces. <laughs> he puts it back together and mag dumps your car. Both cops are shooting at him too, from the front and the back. His partners Wait, are shooting. Another cop shooting? Yes, because the because that cop is like, I'm hit from the car. So the other cop is shooting at the front, thinking that their partner has been like shot from the car. <laughs> so this guy's just getting like full on. Did the guy like, in the back like, seat uh, even get hit? <laughs> no, that's the that's like that's like a miracle and also so embarrassing <laughs> on the cops. Bro, like I don't know that what's worse, was... killing the guy. <laughs> Or you know not he was touching shitting him. his pants. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine yeah, a scarier. That, what, okay, what's scarier to you? Waking up and being that monkey in that picture or being a guy in the back of the cop car? <laughs> being that monkey is probably my greatest nightmare ever since seeing that picture. I don't know, it's being one of the handcuffed most haunting... in the back of a car while two people mag dump it is up there for me. While, yeah, while you just have zero idea of what's going on, yeah. you're probably already like, got cops these days. I got a yeah. itchy finger. Uh, he parked sure under a hickory good, tree. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave no problems. I went straight to this car. You know, I got arrested. I'm back here. And then you see both cops on either side. Sicario style fucking getting ready. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, is going through that guy's mind. Probably, I mean, afterwards... He, you gotta imagine he's getting like a nice payout. You yeah. would hope. <laughs> I'd probably put my hand up just to make sure trauma. I got yeah. shot well, at least once. Yeah. Put my hand up just like oh, stoned. <laughs> uh, Get shot in both hands. Looks like the nails of Christ. And I 
Now I'd become a grifter. <laughs> oh, do you remember when you were talking about your your dad got his fingers and arms blown off from electricity? Oh, yeah. You were just like self riffing on the Aqua episode. Yeah. yeah. My brother was talking to me. He, was, he goes like, "Did Poob's dad really get his fingers and arms blown off from electricity?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Dude, how fucking dumb are Dude, you?" I, I don't know. I've had. He's like, a oh, couple. he's fine. Apparently, he knows somebody that that, happened to that so yeah they, they were like Very electrician believable. and they grabbed something and it just blew their arm off. Blew each of their fingers <laughs> off. Each of their toes. Like little rockets. No, apparently it, it blew off his arm and his leg. That is, yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's horrifying. Yeah, that's, I think I would rather oh, be no, like, it's a like a or something. Than a, it's a fine line of like not wanting to just outright <laughs> lie, but uh, trying to make something so ridiculous. You're <laughs> obviously lying, yeah. but sometimes people still, I mean, they don't, I mean, I told her I convinced that girl I was born for a chicken embryo. You know, you can, you can, a lot of people are very gullible. Yeah. And it's awesome. But you also need to remember that we surround ourselves with little, you know, little idiots that just say shit all the time. <laughs> and like, it's it's oh, funny gosh. for us. But my yeah. Zach's like, I think surrounded by just straight shooters all day. And so when you straight face, just be like, my dad True. got no, all he, of his fingers blown off like yeah. rockets. He's like, whoa, that's like a one yeah. in a million. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa>. My God. <laughs> yeah. And did his penis really fly off and make... Poob shot off one final cum shot, went to his mom. Is that real? Does he have like electric powers and he can feel currents? Is that real? Because it could be dim lights. <laughs> Turn this light up. Yeah. yeah. I wish oh, life could be so exciting if half of our lies were true. I know. I mean, that cop, he would, instead of a nut falling, he would have just been shot at if. If, if he didn't have a body cam, he could have just lied and be like, that guy shot at me. If if this was 1980, he would have gotten away with just blowing that guy away he in the He would have gone seat. over to the car, looked in the window, been like, holy shit, that guy's still handcuffed, and then popped him right in the head, and then thrown his own oh, gun dude, on it. You didn't throw that? <laughs> All right. My bad. Let's take off the cuffs. Yeah. You want to see bad. how this Hold gun this feels? Yeah. <laughs> Feel the weight of that. Yeah. Partner, <laughs> now! Get him! There's no way I'm going back to yeah. the precinct and telling him I mag dumped an yeah. empty car. If this were way back, like 1999, yeah. cops would be doing that. Like 2010, cops would just throw. When did there. body cams become popular? Like I after? Know. I don't know. After uh, the the like guy from like 20, yeah, 15, 20. BLM riot guy. Yeah. Right after and that. When, and now it's just like the cool thing to do is just like <laughs> grab your vest in a way that completely covers, covers it. it. Yeah. They need to have it where when you do that, it goes like, no, 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 or something like that. <laughs> something that annoys them. Yeah. I don't know. Because then we wouldn't get awesome videos like that if a guy just, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just thought that video was so, the way he's scrambling is so funny. Like, just the fact that he's in no danger, but he's made, he's like really put himself in danger yeah. by just... Like he could have fallen and hurt his head. That one's just so ridiculous because it's like an Elmer Fudd moment. But <laughs> the uh, no, I've also seen like, like a frustrating scary. one where this lady has a stroller and the stroller's rolling down the hill towards traffic. Oh, I've seen that. Too. And the lady's just like, oh! she's just so fucking uncoordinated. She <laughs> yeah. just eats shit and then can't even get up off the ground. It's like, That's fuck, dude, like, like don't have kids if you're like that. Yeah. If you're at the or level at least- where you can't get up, don't even have kids. Carry like a little lasso where you can like whoosh, yeah. grab the handle and like pull it back in. <laughs> yeah. Like something. Have something going for you. Anything. She probably, yeah. But who knows? Maybe she was like really athletic. Then she had kids, put on that baby weight, mm. couldn't shed it. Okay. If <laughs> you're athletic <laughs> and have that extra weight, you can still get up off the floor. You know what I mean? Like that maybe, is yeah, maybe, that is like a sedentary maybe your person. Brat kid tied her yeah. shoes together as a prank right before, and then it was like a self fulfilling. Like kids, like oh help! help I have God. I have seen a video where someone like broke down what happened there, and they're like, "This lady is incredibly unathletic. I'll give you that." But that first fall she does, she cracks her fucking head on the ground oh, so hard. Just like already. She's just like in an insane concussion. You ever seen like a, a boxing match where someone gets hit and they're like staggering around? Yeah. If that was a cartoon, she would have had the little Tweety Birds going around, around her head. <laughs> and someone would have gone up to her and gone, <laughs> and she'd go, ooh. 
<laughs> fall straight yeah, back. Kind of slow fall back. <laughs> but instead, it looks like a completely coherent person unable to get up off the ground to save their yeah. own kid. It looks like they're hammered or something. I think the icing on the cake for that video is the guy that just kind of walks out of frame and like grabs the stroller and goes like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. lady, you're just letting this baby roll into traffic. <laughs> you know what? I should teach you a lesson and let this keep rolling. <laughs> He yeah. runs out of nowhere Ow. and pushes it to speed yeah. it up. <laughs> Drop kicks it. <laughs> Supercharge. What if he awesome. comes out to stop it and he does the same thing? <laughs> Lady, I'll show you how it's all. Oh, shit. He falls, cracks it. Yeah, maybe there's like black eyes on the ground or something we just can't see on camera. You could tell that video was filmed yeah. in the dead of summer. That was just perfect conditions for catching up to a stroller. That was perfect catching up to a stroller. Yeah, it was yeah. downhill, Every I think, to the stroller. Yeah, it was perfect. She fucked it well, up. I don't think downhill's perfect catching up to a stroller. You know, it's, <laughs> you know if that if that stroller had like a rocket on it and it was going uphill, it would be harder to follow it. I don't know. Yeah, true. I figure yeah. a big, fat, unathletic person that can't even stand up straight would be, have rolling. an easier time catching up to something going downhill. But I don't know. Have you ever seen a fat... Well, you have because you watched the video. fat person running down a hill is very... Because there's, there's a balance that... Is required you for know, running down a hill. One of my most embarrassing moments before dating Abby was that that I was running to catch up to the bus, and I started <laughs> to lose my balance. And so I was like, belly heavy. He started and so I was like, oh shit! I need to run faster to get my weight back up under my feet. And so I ended up just going faster and faster as I leaned closer <laughs> to the ground. And she said, like, like I remember she had the window down and she was back. she was just like looking down at me, like from the window. And she was like, by the time you got to the bus, you were somehow like Sonic the Hedgehog. Like you were oh. you were like parallel to the ground, still running. You were blowing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping yourself. I was off. like a hovercraft coming in. Yeah. And I ate <laughs> shit and slid with the weight of my textbooks dragging me across the floor. I got oh. like, I got scrape marks on my like elbows, my knees, my face. Like every, I just ate shit on the ground for so long. Last ten feet, you didn't even have your legs <laughs> touching the ground. You were just flying down the hill. Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> and then um, imagine that in middle school, and then having to get up, scraped up, and then. I was the last person on the bus. Then get on the full bus of my peers. Yeah, that's awful. And they Everyone's were all just, just like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you just ate shit. There's nothing yeah. funnier than a no one wants kid to falling. No one you're... wants to sit next to the kid that just ate shit like yeah. that, you know? Oh, his uh. breath probably stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Shaboing. <laughs> all right, you want to call it yeah. there? Or do you want to? Yeah. Keep going? yeah. <laughs>